look, everyone, look, look, she's she's on my desk. She's sat on my desk. <laughs> it's like she wants to be part of the video or something. Do you want to do you want to uh, have a go? Are we having a go at this? Do you want to host? Yeah. Do you want to host this one? No. OK. Well, anyway, yeah, let's get on with the video. I feel like this one might be a bit more serious. Um, we know what it's about. You've seen the title, you know. Um, I've got Aquatiel's video here, which I'm going to react to. I know the worst of what's coming. I've been told on Twitter about certain things, but I've not actually seen the pre-stream yet. So I'm going to react like that. I don't think this will be as long as other videos that I do because I don't know how much I'm going to be able to get out of this psychologically now. This isn't necessarily about it from a psychological perspective for me at this point. It's because a week ago I took my cat to the vets and I ended up paying over 300 quid for the test that she needs. Um, I still have the invoices here. There's part one. And you can see there that's 70 quid because while she was there the vets were like she has actually got um, a full bladder here. Do you mind if we take a urine sample? And I know how, pain, how much of a pain in the ass it could be to get a urine sample out of a cat that, you know, an animal that pisses in a tray. So there's the original bill. It's like 200, over 250 quid. Um, so, yeah. I went for a checkup with my cat and I paid because she's got a chronic condition and we have surpassed the maximum uh, amount of time that her insurance would cover it for and because it's for a chronic condition now they won't accept anything related to it so checkups and things like that if they're checking up on a blood time uh, a blood thyroid levels which they were insurance won't cover it anymore but anyway i got the max out of the insurance that's the point i had insurance for her she had a condition she needed it and insurance did cover her up to a point and we're now just past that point because you know she's nearly 17 she's an old cat so yeah, at some point, cats get ill, so you have to take them to the vet. And when, you know, when it's just Phil, it's fine, because Phil is Phil, and he's been an idiot, and he's been a dickhead or whatever, but ultimately, the consequences are what he deserves, you know? Most of the time, if he's been a dick, and, you know, people are criticising him for it, that criticism is warranted, because he's been a dick, so, you know. Most of the time, it's just him, and it, 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 it's insulting him, it's it's offending him, it's, it's something to do with him. So, it doesn't really hurt anybody else. Whereas with Jasper, there's an innocent cat involved, there's an innocent being you know, and it's not like I, with with Kat, his wife. It's not like with, you know, she's a person. She's an adult. She can make her own decisions. So, you know, she can lie in the bed that she's made or not made. We don't know because, you know, their house is probably a state. So um, either way, it's, it's, it's not the same with Jasper. Jasper's an innocent cat. Jasper didn't ask for this. He doesn't deserve this. So... You know, you hope that they don't fuck about when it comes to the care of an of an innocent animal that's 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 under their care. You know, they they have to they have to be responsible owners and make sure that the cat is okay. But going into this, I feel like Phil's attitude has always been cats are low effort. You know, if, as, as long as you feed them and occasionally play with them, you know they'll they'll mainly sleep and they'll be okay. You know, they'll they'll do whatever they want and they're very independent so you know it'll be fine as a pet and it's like no you need that be somebody texting me or messaging me about him um so his attitude towards jasper has always been representative of that and i don't think he fully understands like how much care and attention a cat needs they are you know not as demanding of your time and attention as a dog is but they still require attention there's still things that want to be loved and feel affection and they want attention they want to play you know they they do sleep a lot yeah as they get older but when they're at the age that jasper is they they don't sleep that much so you know he's i think he's been woefully underprepared for the responsibility and the reality of being a cat owner um and you know like i said earlier i got my, i got you know, contacted on Twitter about this. People have told me what the worst is going on. Um, 
I know that uh, Shinko's had his say currently as I'm recording this. He's 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 done his. Uh, King Sly and Eviga are doing theirs. I will pronounce your name correctly, Eviga. Don't worry about it. Um, I'll bet King Jad had a say when when he did the bingo. Um, so I, as a cat owner, want a say. Outside of that, we did a few other things. It's a, you know, neither here nor there. The one thing that I want to talk about is this vet visit, all right? I'm pretty upset. Let's explain what happened, all right? So, for the record, Jasper Kitty is not sick, all right? He's perfectly healthy. He has nothing wrong with him at all right now. He was going in for his yearly checkup, and he was going in to get his rabies vaccine follow-up, okay? Now, I don't know how the rabies vaccine works. That's on the doctor to explain it to you, right? But I was under the understanding that he was going to probably need his rabies vaccine follow-up. But we had scheduled him just for a checkup. And we figured while we're there, we'll get everything done, right? I have the feeling, and this is actually obviously informed by what I've been told on Twitter, that the words, while we were there, we thought we'd get everything done, are going to be quite relevant in a bit. So wait for that. For me, getting everything done cost around 320 quid so <clears throat> here's the thing all right we've taken jasper to this vet for three straight years the first year they were still at the end of covid so back then everyone was still wearing masks here in washington state and you couldn't go in anywhere it was like oh god it's like everyone has to have a fucking hazmat suit on so you, you know oh my goodness here's jasper oh sorry sir you can't go back there with him we'll take him into our sterile room and we'll vet we'll we'll, we'll you know examining ourselves and we'll tell you the findings it was like what the hell is this you know stupid covid was so bad and everyone was so afraid here in washington was one of the worst we were like some of the worst afraid states there were so you couldn't do anything right it was like that for me during covid as well um i had to take her to the vets for a checkup during covid um we had to park outside they came and took her and then they brought her back they were wearing masks we were wearing masks didn't get out of the car they they went and got her from the back seat. They brought her back, put her back in, and said, you know, here's here's the, uh, the we'll we'll be back out with the medicine. She needs you know more of a medicine. So they came back out with the uh, the, the bottle in in the box, and um, then they came out with the wireless pay thing. So I had to pay there. <laughs> it was like that with everybody with COVID, Phil. Um, but also that yeah, that he, he's describing the. The room that they um that they examined him in is sterile like you know it's it, it's a vet's room it's like any other medical place they keep it a certain level of clean you know like you don't want an animal that's got like an open wound coming into a room where another animal is like pissed on the floor you don't want to do that so they're, they're kept a certain level of clean anyway again i just don't think he's like fully aware of like what it is to be a vet <laughs> what vets do you know, and like, like the, the the operational reality of being a vet. So yeah, either way. Um, of course, I'm not suggesting that they like, steam down the room after every every pet has come in, but you know, they wipe everything down at least. They keep it clean, you know. So you wouldn't go in and there'd be like shit curled up on the floor from the previous dog. So yeah. <laughs> anyway, enough about that. Move on. Now, the good news is last year, all right, all that was finally over with. No more masks, no more being afraid. So last year, we took Jasper to this same vet in the summer. We were allowed to go into the exam room with him. And here's the thing about Jasper, okay? Jasper Kitty absolutely hates being in the carrier. See, I know as a narcissist, he has to make like everything about himself and he has to over exaggerate the significance of like what are mundane things to everybody else. And I, I, I maybe I was mistaken in assuming that he wouldn't project that onto um, other things around him. Because here's the thing, Phil, most cats are like that. Most cats hate being in the carrier. I have murder trying to get her into the carrier. And then she howls all the way to the vest because she's deaf and she can't hear me. Like there, reassuring her, calming her down. So, I, I don't get why it's like, here's the thing about Jasper. It's like, here's the thing about every fucking cat. They all do that. None of them like being in the carrier. It's not a nice experience for them. 
The fucking worst thing for me is like when I get to the vet, she's completely quiet and fine. She's placid. When I get like into the room and they take the lid off the carrier and they reach in and pick her up, she is completely fucking silent and compliant. They put her on the roo- the, the, the table. She doesn't run. She doesn't move. They keep her there. She's perfectly fine. And then she gets put back in the carrier peacefully. And she just sits there. And they put the lid back on top of her. And I carry her out. And then the moment I get back in the car. All the way back home. I fucking hate. She knows she does it. I swear to God she knows she does it. Right? I'm convinced she's doing it to wind me up. Make me look bad in front of the vet. (laughs) Whenever he's in that carrier... He's very upset and nervous. If he's in the car, he's panting and he's meowing. He's afraid. He hates the carrier for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know if he had a traumatic experience in his past, but he hates the carrier. It's because you're putting him in a fucking cage. (laughs) They're, They're like independent creatures that like to have their freedom to roam around their territory. And you're putting him in a fucking cage. That's why they get scared and howl. What the fuck is wrong with you? Every cat does that. And usually, yeah, these carriers are somewhat traumatic incidents. Sorry about the hair thing. Usually these carriers are traumatic incidents because you're taking a cat away from what is its normal territory, either to a strange place where somebody, like, is going to, you know, like, hold it and listen to its heartbeat and shine things in its eyes and look in its ears and, you know, manipulate it in all these ways that it might not like. Or you're taking it to a completely strange new environment as you're moving house. And now it has this whole new place that it has to get used to. And all these unfamiliar smells all over the place. Cats find the carrier upsetting. All cats do. It's not just Jasper. And it's nothing to do with having a traumatic incident in the past involving a carrier. It's because... They're animals that like to wander around and you're caging them. (sighs) How is he this bad? How does he not understand like these basic things of cats? Linda's supposed to be a cat lover. He's supposed to have grown up with cats. How does he not get this? When he's out of the carrier, he is perfectly fine. So to give you an example, last year, They allowed us into an exam room, so we opened the carrier. He comes out in the exam room. He's having a blast. He's crawling on the desk. He's jumping all around. He's having fun. Dude, when they're freaking out like that, they're not having fun. (laughs) They're running around trying to get away. (laughs) They're trying to find a way out. They're they're panicking. (laughs) That's not having a blast. That's typically when cats are upset. If, if you if you lock them in that room, if they take them out of the carrier and they put them in that room, they're going to look for an escape because they don't want to get back in the fucking carrier. Unless you're her and you're trying to show me up in front of the vet. I swear to God, how does he not understand these basic principles of cats? How does he not know how cats work? He's grown up around cats. He's had a cat for like three or four years. How does he not know? How? <clears throat> I think I, I think for me the, 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 the fun part about editing this at least is going to be like going and looking at other people's reactions to this so I know it's not just me. And here's the thing about Jasper, okay? Jasper Kitty absolutely hates being in the carrier. Whenever he's like in all that cats. Carrier, yeah, like a lot of them, yeah. Nervous. If he's in the car, he's panting. Yeah, the moving of the car is different for a cat. Yeah, yeah. Because Why am I moving while I'm still? That's Yeah, they're they're stressed. Yeah, yeah, that's anxiety. He's panting. I don't know why. It's like he's stressed. He's anxious. Yeah. He's meowing. He's afraid. He hates the carrier for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know if he had a traumatic experience in his past, but he hates the carrier. When he's out of the carrier, he is perfectly fine. Oh, you mean shitting when he's all- free to move around? He's fine, huh? Yeah, he's fine. <laughs> shitting and pissing all over my house. Yeah, right. <laughs> This guy yeah. is nuts, man. So to give you an example, last yeah, stop year, Jasper they allowed us into that. an exam room, so we l- opened the carrier. He comes out in the exam room. He's having a blast. He's crawling on the desk. He's jumping all around. He's having fun. He actually no, enjoyed he's not. his vet visit last year. because <laughs> No, you know, he is not. The first time COVID ended, you could go in the exam room. He was afraid, or allowed to run around, have free reign. No. He had a great time. Okay? Okay, no. <laughs> and it was a- great. <laughs> That's all. Uh, that's all bullshit. Because if you take a cat to a vet, it doesn't even matter. Like dogs are more chill. I'll say that dogs are more chill. Cats, depending on the cat, no, they're not having a blast. They're running around trying to flee, trying to find <laughs> their safety. Right. Right. 
They're in a different place they've never been, or or, or not used to, I should say. Yeah, crawling but, on the desk. <laughs> yeah, I... Great. This, this, this is... I need to know that other people are picking up on this and, and sort of going, how do you not understand, like, how cats work? He actually enjoyed his vet visit last year because, you know, for the first time since COVID ended, you could go in the exam room. He was afraid, allowed to run around, have free reign. Had a great time, Okay. And it was great. So I remember last year, the vet examined him, explained everything that the vet had found. They said he was a little bit on the overweight side. We need to cut down on his food, which we've done in the last year. All right. The good news is he lost some weight in this last year. You know, and a few other observations, you know, you know whatever. But that was great. And by the way, um, it was quick. Like, I remember last year, we basically waited in the waiting room maybe 10 minutes, got right into our our room, our, our, our exam room. That was maybe like a 10-minute wait. Vet came in, exam, done. We were out within like... 40 minutes, the whole visit was done. It was awesome, and we were on with our day, okay? So that happens sometimes when you go to the vets. You get seen quickly. You're there at the right time, you know, maybe a couple of minutes early, and the vet has finished their previous appointment earlier than they thought, so they're ready to go earlier than they thought. So, you know, you'd end up waiting, like, a, a short while, a couple of minutes, and then you're seen, and then they examine the pet, and they're like, no, your young pet is in pretty good shape a little on the overweight side but otherwise heartbeat sounds good and you know his, his eyesight looks good his, his ears look clear um you know his stomach doesn't feel too bad his his bowels and bladder they feel okay everything's good his heart rate's good he's fine yeah so otherwise cut down on food but otherwise yeah great and you get seen quickly and then you go out and pay and then you don't other times you do have to wait you know other times you're waiting because you know, either you get there late or, you know, you get there earlier than you thought and you've got to wait a bit and they're taking a bit longer than expected because, you know, for whatever reason, they, they need to explain stuff or, you know, something's come up in the test so they need to do more tests. Like, again, when I was there with her and they said, oh, her blood is pretty full. Do you mind if we take a urine sample as well while we're here? You know, that's obviously something extra that they're adding onto their list of tests and things that they need so they need to go and grab like the, the equipment for it because obviously they weren't planning on doing it but they're like oh hey while we're here go and grab it quickly sort that out make sure that, that goes to the right lab tested the right way yep we need to check for that that and that great you know sometimes sometimes it takes a while there's, there's sometimes you're fine and sometimes you're not it's it's the same as waiting anywhere it's the same as like waiting for petrol it's the same as waiting for a hospital appointment it's the same as waiting for food to be brought to your table it's it's just again why does it have to be such a big deal have you got, he's got nothing else on in his life and he has to be the victim he has to be the martyr he has to yeah the life has to the whole fucking universe is against him when he has to wait a bit longer at the vets i can see where this is going i know what i know what's coming up so it's that isn't it he has to make it big because he has to make it big otherwise it's just a day at the vets and it was normal he has to make it a big thing what i love about dsp is like he's got such a victim complex that everybody's trying to fuck him even the vet is out to fuck dark side phil the vet is a goddamn detractor <laughs> yep their schedule's a detractor they got the bad vet at that place so that's a detractor the they let everybody the else's chihuahua come in and play but maybe... <laughs> so here's what happens this year oh that's uh, that fucking smirk Oh, that smirk, I hate so much. I hate so much. I really do. Because it always comes at a time when he is going to be completely in the wrong about something. And he is going to speak with the confidence of the ignorant, and he is going to let you know how bad the experience was, or how right he was, and how wrong the other person is. And, you know, you're going to get ready for this one, guys. <laughs> God, right, you know, hey. I fucking hate it. I hate it. Come on, Steve, let's get through this. So here's what happens this year. Okay? No, oh, he's already so, pulling the, the smug fucking snake lab. This is about to be a doozy. Okay? So, I know. You already know what, what's going to happen. You, you already know it's going to be some fucking bullshit rigmarole. Right? You ready for this? Okay. We show up early. We actually showed up 15 minutes early. Because we were hoping that if we showed up early... Maybe we could get in exactly when our appointment was and we could get out early to do the rest of the stuff we needed to do during the day because we had a very busy day planned. So you showed up 15 minutes early and had to wait. F 
15 minutes early and you had to wait. And you're complaining about that. You're complaining about the fact that they weren't ready to see you 15 minutes before the time when they were supposed to see you. Need to let it go and move on. So, first of all, we show up early. Okay? And I'm not kidding you. This is what they tell us at the front desk. Oh, you're early? Well, we can't check you in until it's time for your appointment. What? Yeah. You, you... A man so beholden to his schedule doesn't understand why appointments are scheduled. Imagine if, imagine if, 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 right, Phil, imagine that you had a schedule and you had a game that you were going to play on Tuesday and you had a game that you were going to play on Wednesday because it was going to be released on Wednesday, right? So you, you, you scheduled that. You were going to get it the night it was released and you're going to play it on that stream on Wednesday. It's going to be great. But then on Monday, you hear that that game is going to be released on Tuesday. So all those day one views, they're now they're now they're now going to be released early. You know, it's it's you're going to have to you're going to have to make a decision about your schedule, you know. Do you start playing it then or do you start playing it on the Wednesday like you'd originally planned? Imagine how mad you'd be if something was there early. And you couldn't sort it out right there, you know, you couldn't fit it in. So normally those things would have to wait because they'd be checking in at the time when they were supposed to, not 15 minutes earlier. It's going to, it's going to erupt. I can feel it. It's, it's, it's simmering and, and we've not even checked in yet. Let's get on. Yeah, we're not allowed to check you in until it's time exactly for your appointment. So, you're just stuck. You came for no reason. Just sit here in the lobby. Great. Well, Jasper hates being in this carrier, and now he's stuck in the carrier for extra time. Because you got there early. I have a feeling he's going to be because they're idiots or they're assholes or something, or because they won't check him in. When it's like, you got there early. You, you, you told them you'd be there at... At a time, and you were 15 minutes early. Jasper has to sit there for another 15 minutes in the box because of you. Not because of them. They have a policy. They're like, if, if you make an appointment at this time, we'll check you in at this time. Because that's when you're supposed to be here. Because that's what an appointment is. It's you saying, I'll be there at this time. You know, so you can see me. Well, my cat in this case. If I if I got to the vets, if I got to the vets 15 minutes early and they didn't check me in until it was time to be at uh, my appointment and, you know, I had to sit there with the cat in the box for 15 minutes. That would be my fault. It is your fault, Phil. Now let's see who's going to blame. Because they don't care that we're there early. They just... Oh, just wait. All right, fine. Yeah, 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 you were there early. Yeah, okay, fine. Don't be like, all right, fine. You know, we we see it, Phil. We, it's, their, it's their policy. If you wanted them to check you in, you, you turn up at the time when you made your appointment for, and they'll check you in. I don't see why this is such a big deal. You turned up early. Of course you're going to have to wait. They're not going to move heaven and earth because you're there early. <gasps> Darkseid fills it 15 minutes early. Fuck. We assumed he'd be here in 15 minutes. We thought, we thought we'd have more time. What do you mean? You, you, you're still seeing this other person. Well, fuck their dog. Who cares? <laughs> you know, <laughs> get it out of here. Darkseid fills here 15 minutes early. Fuck it. Hell, Phil. I'm not kidding you. This is what they tell us at the front desk. Oh, you're early? Well, we can't check you in until it's time for your appointment. I feel like, I know this is going to spoil the story, but I feel like they're like, ah, shit, the Burnells are here.
Yeah, not those fuckers. <laughs> ah, fuck. The Burnells are here. Uh, and then, Doctor, uh, the Burnells are here 15 minutes early. Ah, fuck. Tell them I'm at lunch or something. So we wait, and then when it's time for our appointment, we check in. Okay. We then wait in the lobby for about another 10 to 15 minutes. So apparently they weren't ready regardless. Sometimes they're not, Phil. Sometimes you do have to wait. <laughs> Again, sometimes you seem quick, and sometimes you're not. Sometimes the previous appointment overruns a bit. Sometimes they get a dog in, and they're like, oh, we need to check this, this, and this, you know. <laughs> <laughs> or sometimes they get the dog, the dog in and they're like, you know, actually, we need to do this because their last result showed this, so we need to test for this and this. Sometimes they run a bit long, you know. Sometimes sometimes you get the the cat or the rabbit or the gerbils or the guinea pigs or the hamsters or whatever pet you've got, and it comes in. And they've got results to explain to you. And they've got a couple of options for you to consider. Do you consider an operation? Do you consider this medication? Do you consider this type of medication? Um, are, are you, are you, do you actually want to keep this pet? Or do you want to put it down? Sometimes these are heavy things that they have to talk about. And sometimes that takes a while. Because sometimes families might also have questions. Uh, you said something about the liver. What, you know, it's liver enzymes. What do you mean by that? Sometimes, sometimes a family member won't understand like how to feed the, the animal the, the medicine how to properly make sure that it's swallowed the tablet so they need to be you know you need to show them or you need to walk someone through sometimes you need to explain like this medicine comes with these side effects so you know keep an eye out for this this and this if if they show symptoms of this call us straight away if they show symptoms of this stop it you know um, sometimes a lot of things need to be talked about and so these appointments overrun and as a result the person who's in next in the in the in the schedule has to wait a bit and it's fine sometimes sometimes you have to go into a room that you've just seen someone be escorted out of in tears and you know what happened in that room and you understand why it takes them a little a little bit of time to to be ready for you so sometimes you have to be escorted out of that room yourself Let's, let's move on. And then a tech comes out. And the tech comes out and says, oh, you were early. I swear to God, this is what the tech says. She goes, oh, you were early. Well, the vet is late. Uh, uh, still on lunch. <laughs> Stutters her words, like cuts herself off and changes what she was saying mid-sentence. Uh, still at lunch. So obviously the tech inadvertently admitted to us that the vet was late for work. Okay, so if that's the case, uh, th there's there's a few examples which I'm sure Eddie Steve is absolutely going to love looking for here, um, of of that happening with you. Thumbs down, Nick, motherfucker. <laughs> and so if that's the case, Phil, if if the if the stutter, the inadvertent stutter, and then the moving on, is the real genuine quote, the the actual truth, then, you know. There's, there's, there's just a couple of examples. Just a few. You don't have to go wild, Editor Steve, but, you know. But I ate a ton of food for dinner. My mom, my mom, oh my God. My wife, not my mom, I don't know why I said that. My wife made a ton of food. But we had over a bit of white rice, and man, it was freaking delicious. Absolutely good. I love my, my wife's gumbo, so. Yeah, basically I'm streaming GTA, and then tonight I'm having dinner with my parents, or my parents, dinner with my wife and then calling my parents afterwards is what I meant to say. Lord Prince Albert is, a, is super chatting and apologizing for his previous very ridiculous, over the top and unacceptable behavior. You are welcome. You're welcome, excuse me. Your, your apologies accepted is what I meant to say. <laughs> there you go. Guys, if you are enjoying the Cuphead Delicious Last Course DLC, please consider supporting the channel in any way. Uh, whether that be liking this stream, which we have a lot of likes on this stream today, so thank you for that. Uh, becoming a member. Maybe gifting a membership to someone else, a super chat, a super sticker, or a tip. Any of that would be preferred, or any of that would be uh, appreciated, is what I meant to say. Uh, we haven't had a tip in over two hours, so it would be great if we could get some more support that way, guys. 
Mandrew to the Super J says, Pepsi Pimp says, send donations. Did he? Well, that's nice of him to say that. You, I would tell, say this. I don't want anyone contributing to my content in any way unless they feel like it's it's mandatory. It's, unless they feel like it's mandatory. That's not what I meant to say. Unless they feel like it's earned or warranted is what I meant to say. If today you have a good time on my stream, all right, and, you, and you're enjoying yourselves, and you like this content, and you want to either give back or you want to see it possibly continue in the future, support it. It sucks because this is the time when I need to support the most, and you know I'm doing dead, dead, uh, dead. I'm doing downtime content, is what I meant to say. But the risk reward is huge, right? If these guys hit me with fake copyright strikes, I don't know what to do. Uh, not even fake. That's not what I meant to say. What I meant to say was legit. The fake copyright strike thing is gone. Just so you guys know, fake copyright strikes are a thing of the past on, on YouTube. Here, I just want to remind all of you: this is basically your last chance to nominate games for my upcoming Players' Choice event. All right, excuse me, viewers' choice event is what I meant to say. What did I do during my day off? As undoubtedly all of you will know, or all of you will ask, I mean, is what I meant to say. Um, went grocery shopping. So, yeah, let's have fun. Okay. <laughs> so, can't. So we can't get you in yet. You have to wait in the lobby, and once the vet is back from lunch. We'll let you we'll let you in, but our appointment is at this time, and the vet's not here. Okay, so what is going on? Now, in the meantime, other people are coming in with their pets. There was someone who came in with two Chihuahuas. They were let in within five minutes into an exam room, and you could hear the doctor over there examining and dealing with the Chihuahuas, having a great time in the room. Another person comes in with a cat and a carrier. They're allowed right into an exam room. It's only us. That are stuck in this lobby waiting with Jasper and his carrier. Now, if you add up the time, it's been over a half an hour he's sitting here in his carrier in the lobby, and we're not even allowed in yet. That happens sometimes. It's not just one vet. There's multiple vets, usually like three or four, and they see different people at different times. So sometimes multiple vets are ready to see the people that are there quickly, you know? Again, the inverse of what I've said about delayed appointments is also true. Sometimes it's a very quick appointment. Sometimes it's a very quick, well, yeah, your, your pet's quite healthy. Other than, you know, maybe cut down a little bit on the on the treat. But other than that, yeah, good. Everything's come back great. Thank you. That's it. Sometimes it's fine. Sometimes it's quick. Sometimes you're there in and out. Like you've said previously. So at other points, you know, you would have been that person. Last year, when you said, you know, you got seen very quickly, you would have been that person and there would have been someone else waiting. Being like, why are they getting seen before me? Because their vet would have been delayed for some reason. There are many reasons why vets are delayed and there are conversely many reasons why a vet can be, you know, very quickly ready for you. So, just fucking deal with it. It's, it's the same as booking a fucking appointment at the hospital or your GPs or at the fucking mechanics or whatever. It's, it's, it's the same as booking any appointment. I just, I, I can't. He has to make everything into a huge fucking drama. Sometimes you have to wait and your cat's in the box. Your cat's in the carrier and it's complaining. You know, I've, I've occasionally posted tweets when I'm there of pictures of her, like looking like a political prisoner. She's normally got like one paw out. You, you, sometimes you have to wait and other times you're, you're seen quickly. It's just, it's just the way it is. I don't understand why he's got such a big deal with this. Why is it such a huge problem, Phil? Why? Why? You go through things everybody has to go through at one point or another. Gross. Yeah, and sitting in the waiting room isn't anything new in any kind of medical institution. You go to the dentist, you gotta sit until the person yeah. before you gets the job done. And Whoa. then it's your turn. Whoa. <laughs> oh, Mere cat. He, he Hang off. on. DSP is very busy. He's got a packed day. It's a full docket. They can't be wasting his time. That's the one day he's got off. Yeah, you gotta clear yeah, them off the household. They, they didn't wait for 12 minutes. They didn't wait for 13 minutes. Not for 14 minutes. They waited for 15 minutes. <laughs> Whoa! So you Come know on. he got pissed. That's the, the, the time he values so much. He could have been sitting on the couch playing video games on his phone. Come on. You, oh, they don't you know respect this time. You know he's doing that fucking anyway. You know he's just sitting there like this. Oh my god. Well, how many times is left? Ten minutes? Oh my god, honey. This is so bad. Jasper hates this. So finally, you know, the tech is there. I'm like, well, how long are we going to wait? What is going on? So he says, all right, we're going to take him in. The tech takes, the, takes Jasper in. But not us. What? 
So now Jasper's in there by himself without us in the room, and we're not allowed to come in. What? Why, why, why didn't you get up and follow them? Why? Why were you just sat there? I mean, like, granted for me, right? When I go in, um, they normally come over and they offer to pick the cat up because I need a crutch, and normally, I, you know. I, I could do with the assistance. So it is much appreciated when they come and they help carry out. So it's, it could be that for me, but typically they'll come and pick a carrier off and I get up and I walk behind them and we both go into the room. Why do you just sit there? What, what reason would they have for like not letting you in? Why not? The people with the chihuahuas are in the room. The the woman with the other cat just went into the room. Why can't we go in? Why didn't no, you go in? you stay in the lobby. Okay? All right. Why? <laughs> what are you not telling us here, Phil, right? What are you not telling us? You're hiding something. There has to be a reason, and they would have told you that reason, right? Why were you not allowed in? What did you do? What happened? So we've all been in this situation, right? We've all been Phil at some point. We've all been sat there waiting while people that have been seen, people that have come um, after us have been seen before us. In in Phil's situation, right? See, I can't imagine going to the vets and then when they come and pick up my cat and they go, I'm not allowed in. During lockdown, I understood that. That was fine. I understood why. But since lockdown restrictions have lifted, I've been in every time and I can't imagine if I got up to go and they went, uh, you're not allowed in. And I said, why? And they went, you're just not. And I, but those people are being seen. Why am I not? They went, you're just not. I can't imagine accepting that. I'd want to know why. <laughs> so either there's something he's not telling us or he did something to piss them off. And they were like, right, don't let him in. Maybe he bickered, maybe he argued, maybe he was like really like rude to them, but he, he did something to be banned from that room. Otherwise, they would have given him an explanation. They would have given him a reason why he wasn't allowed in. Because if they're letting other people in with their pets, they've got no reason to keep him out. Unless they did, and he's not telling us what it is. Because nobody would accept you're just not from anyone, anyone. Like, trying to stop you. Excuse me, they're, they're in with their pet. Why can't I go in? You just can't. What, why? I want to know why. There must be a reason why. You know, I will accept it if it's a reason. You know, if you at least tell me why you're not allowed in. You know, maybe it's okay with dogs but not cats. You know, in which case, why is that woman with that cat in? Either way, you know, if there was a reason for not letting me in, I'd want to know it. And, 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 and I wouldn't be happy with just, you're not. So there must be something. He's not telling us. And I think that reason involves him being told off because he's been too pushy about it. I feel like he's, he's gotten himself in trouble again. And he doesn't want to admit that. Because if he admits it, he's in the wrong. If he says, well, because of the way you were talking to her. We have a zero tolerance policy on harassment. And some of the things you said about the vet were quite insulting. And we've taken that as harassment. So you're not allowed in. I feel like it's something like that. Because we know he can go full Karen at times. So. There's something there, though. You don't just get her because you're not allowed. Because we said so. Because just no. You don't get that for no reason. You get a reason given to you. If there's a reason to keep you out of that room. He did something. I'm convinced. He's lying about something here. So finally, you know, the tech is there. I'm like, well, how long are we going to wait? What is going on? So the tech says, all right, we're going to take him in. The tech takes, the, takes Jasper in. But not us. What? So now Jasper's in there by himself. I'm sorry, I just screamed a little bit, sorry. So basically, they know that something's up. They they know they know that something is up. Because if I'm going by Phil's word, last year he was able to go, this year he wasn't, and last year was COVID, they want to check him up for something. That's, that's, I, I can put bottom dollar on that. Without us in the room, and we're not allowed to come in. 
Because they want to check not? something. They wanted to check something. The people with the chihuahuas are in the room. The, yeah. The woman with the other cat just went into the room. Why can't we go in? Yeah. No, you stay in the lobby. You stay in the lobby because they want to make sure that this cat is okay and you're not a fucking neglectful fucking owner. That's it. So they take Jasper in. Five minutes. I'm not kidding. I timed it. Five minutes. After five minutes, they take Jasper back out and hand it back to us in the carrier. Yeah, that's, that's about right. That's enough to give a cat the once over. They, they, they listen to a heart, right? Like I'm going over the process that they they check, you know, they check her eyes, her ears, they they you know feel down here to make sure she's okay. They listen to her, her breathing and her heart rate. That seems to only take about like five minutes to give her the once over. And if Jasper, as a as a young cat, is perfectly healthy. You know, if, he, if if the only issue is that, you know, he was overweight and, you know, he's lost weight since then, it's fine. You know, even weighing them, you just need him to sort of like sit there on the scale for a second. Great, there you go. The the number, that's what we need. Great. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it seems like normal, that, to me, to at least give him the once over. Because you're not going to start like, right, anesthesia now. Right, she's asleep. Right, let's take the blood out now. Great. We'll another blood for this. Right, that one's to check for white and red blood cells. Right, this one's to check for uh, kidney and liver enzymes. Um, right, then we need this. And They don't sort of like do that, like, there with you. They take the car off and do it elsewhere. But that's not part of, like, that five minutes. If you don't need to do that, your five minutes is going to be like the, the once over and then, yeah, no, it's great, no problem. Five minutes to give a cat the once over seems normal to me. Going over how so like how long it takes for her. That seems Yeah. Seems about normal to me, that. And I'm like, did you do anything? Did you examine? Don't worry, the vet will be right with you. We wait another twenty minutes so now jasper has been in his carrier over an hour and it's not even clear if they examined him or not we don't know what happened yet okay so now we've been there an hour finally a, a, a woman who they oh i'm the vet you should have seen this woman once again all right because i went with her to get her checked up and because she's got a thyroid issue that means she has to have blood samples taken and you know well, I was there, she said, oh, bit of a full bladder, could we take a urine sample? Um, so, after the, the, the five minutes of giving her the ones over and asking me how she's been, you know, asking me any changes to her diet, any changes to like how she's weaning her poo and all that stuff, like, you get all the stuff you get asked while it, that's listening and giving her, checking her ears and her eyes. After that, and I went and sat back out waiting, they took her and they did, you know, they took the blood and they gave her blood or a squeeze so she had a wee and, you know, so they took what they needed and then they brought her out to me. Occasionally, she comes back with like the, the shave bit up there, <laughs> which is always funny. But um, it's also really weird because um, like cats have, the, the, the skin is the same as the fur. So as they shave like the, the black bit and then into the white bit, because she's a tuxedo cat. So they shave the black fur and then they shave up into the white fur. The skin underneath is like black and then it's white here. It's really weird to see. But yeah, anyway, um, that period, that portion, sometimes you have to wait a bit longer for that. You know, sometimes they need to take a bit. Sometimes they need to just take one thing and it's really quick and easy to do. Other times the, the, they might take a while doing that. So you'd be sat outside for a bit longer and then they bring a, back to me and then they're like okay right vet's going to explain um here's what we did to her um here's the test that we're going to run here's her prescription um here's when you'll be hearing about test results you know that that sort of stuff they explain that to you then so what are we going to moan about now here we go all right she comes out first of all Everyone else that's working there has their, their like, uh, nurse slash tech garb on, so you can tell they work there. It says the name of the vet. This woman comes out in gray sweat clothes. It looks like she literally just came in off the street, maybe from jogging. I'm not sure. Oh, oh, oh I thought he meant something else then. Fucking hell. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, given what I've seen about his attitudes towards women on the Nancy Scrolls, can you blame me for jumping to that conclusion with him? 
<laughs> I feel like this is another one of those examples where Phil has like absolutely no idea how things are done sometimes. Um, sometimes when I go to my GP, the other practitioners, the other nurses and doctors will have, you know, they'll, they'll have their scrubs on or they'll have like white coats to go along with them. Um, and sometimes the GP that I'm seeing has them on and sometimes he has regular clothes on because he can work with them. You know, he sits behind his desk and, you know, he asks the patient how they're doing. And sometimes, occasionally, he has to give them a quick examination on, on the bed. And he'll pull down the, you know, paper sheets so that you can sit on it properly. And then when you're done, you get off, he pulls them off. And, you know, you he, he doesn't need his scrubs for that. So maybe it's that. Maybe the, the checkups that she's doing don't require that. Maybe she has different uniform requirements. Than, than what Phil's expecting. Maybe she's not gotten changed into her scrubs yet and she doesn't need to, to tell you this, you know? Her hair, you can literally tell she was late for work because her hair is dripping wet. You can tell what happened is she came in and just quickly brushed or combed her hair with water. Really? You, you, you're gonna do that? You, you of all people are, are going there. <laughs> like maybe her lunch break is the only time she can get in a workout at the gym. So, you know, like every every Tuesday and Thursday, she, she sacrifices a lunch break and, and, and does like half an hour at the gym. And, you know, she had a shower there and got ready and got, came back. And, you know, you're like the first person that she has to talk to now. You're the first... You know, um, you're the first case that she's got. You're the first appointment. So, you know, th there's no point in her putting on her scrubs because she's, you know, the cat's been dealt with and all she has to do is explain things to you. <sighs> like, again, just, like, that wouldn't bother me. If, like, they were, like, you know, the vet's coming out now and she came out. Like, that wouldn't really bother me because it's like she's only explaining things to me. I don't... <sighs> Before she came out to the lobby, it literally had just been combed because it was wet as shit, right? So she comes out not dressed for work with wet hair. Okay, so uh, uh, is that Jasper? Wait, wait, what? You're the vet. Didn't you just examine him? Oh, is that Jasper? Okay, so here's what we found. Okay. So here's, here's what the vet says. First of all, well, did he, has he ever had blood work? And I'm like, you work here. He's been here for three years. You don't know if he's had blood work yet. No, they're asking you as his owner. <laughs> no, I got everything. It, 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 would they sat at a computer, Phil? Could they see Jasper's file? Or were they just there asking you, the owner, has he had blood work done? They asked me that about my cat, and I'm like, yeah, the last time, you know, last time we had the checkup, it showed this and this. I, you know, it's like, I mean, when was the last time she did this? When was the last time she did that? When was the last time we saw her? It was this. We found this and this, you know? When was the last time she had this prescription? When was the last time you gave her this medicine? Why, why are these, like, why? I mean, it's just, they're, they're things every, every owner of a pet has to go through when they go to the vet, right? Cat, dog, rabbit, guinea pig, whatever. The things we all need to go through. They they, they do come out to us sometimes and go, you know, so have they had this. Are you up? So here's here's what the vet says. First of all, well did he has he ever had blood work? And I'm like, You work here. He's been here for three years. You don't know if he's had blood work yet. So I said, no, he hasn't had blood work. He's never had a reason to have blood work. He's, I never had a... You never had... What? Jesus Christ. You gotta be... Oh, my God. Anyway, yeah. Um, the, the, the things, like, we all get asked sometimes at the vets. They ask us these things. You know, in your last appointment, did did, did she have, you know, this test? Or was this test taken? Yeah. The, the appointment we had a week ago, you know, she had um, her urine analyzed, you know, the because they were there and they could take a urine sample the previous time they didn't because they weren't looking at that and she had a she, she'd peed before we came so there was no you know they were like no well we're not looking at that anyway we're only checking like her um 
the thyroid levels. So they only did like a, a couple of short blood tests. They didn't do anything there. But, you know, while they were here now, they're like, okay, do you mind if we do it? Like, yeah, sure, go ahead. Because it lets you, you know, it lets you know, do stuff about like how your kidneys are filtering, how much, you know, how diluted urine is. The things that, you know, you check in cats. So, or dogs, or guinea pigs, or rabbits. Because, like, I, can't, I just don't see what his problem is. They're asking him a question about the cat. Because he's the cat owner. And it's like, they're not coming out with his entire medical history memorised. You know? Here, here's what the vet says. First of all, well, did he, has he ever had blood work? And I'm like, oh, this is a good part. Good part oh, here. You work here. He's been here for three years. You don't know if he's had blood work yet. Yeah, because the vet only sees your cat. <laughs> yeah. So or it, or it could be a different vet. It could be someone that yeah, did right. not see this cat, and this is someone else. And they have to look at the paperwork, and they're asking general questions. Right. Hey, do you know if your cat has any blood work? Well, aren't you the vet? Shouldn't you know, scumbag? Jesus. I, I don't. You fucking know. You're the vet. Yeah, yeah, I right. had to take my. I, you're the vet. My cat has been taken out of the carrier for an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah. I still can't get over the back. <laughs> yeah, he hasn't taken the cat out and held him. Like, like, if I'm talking to the receptionist who can see the cat's file, right? If I'm making an appointment and I'm talking to the receptionist and they've got her file on screen and they can see, oh yeah, last time we had her in for this and this, okay? They can see that. If I'm talking to them in, in the appointment room and they've got her file on screen and they need to go back, you know, or if they're phoning me up with results and they can say, right, okay, last time we had this, last time we checked her for this, then, you know, previous time she was checked for this and then the time before that she checked for this. That's fine because they're there at a screen. They can show me, they can check, they can look. But if they're coming out to me in the, in the, in the waiting room and it's just, somebody there it's they've got no paper they've got no clipboard they're just coming up to me and going oh, okay so hi this this cat right um have their blood work done and they'll go uh well i don't know about this time but last time yeah and it showed this last time it was yeah because it was thyroid yeah she has she checks thyroid levels why do you not know these that you are the fucking pet owner these are things you were supposed to know <laughs> you know so here's here's what the vet says. First of all, well, did he, has he ever had blood work? And I'm like, you work here. He's been here for three years. Yes. So you don't know what people been doing to your fucking cat when you've been bringing him to the fucking vet? Seriously? Seriously? So you've been bringing your fucking cat to this establishment and you don't even know what they've been doing to him? Is he fucking serious? I don't know, bro. I can't, like, I, I seriously can't. I can't, I can't. What the fuck is wrong with you, bro? Like, I don't give a fuck, bro. I don't give a fuck anymore. Any, I don't give a fuck. I'm not having no reservations about nothing. I don't give a fuck if motherfuckers kick down your fucking doorstep. I don't give a fuck if somebody throws a mob top cocktail through your fucking house, man. Fuck you, Philip Paul Burnell. What is wrong with you? What is fucking wrong with you? So you've been paying money out to an establishment, and you don't even know what services they've been fucking providing? Can't do Adrian. Thank you for the one ninety nine super chat, hun. Next time, just give it a pill and send it home. Exactly. That's 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 that's, that's pretty I much. Off at my, my, it got all over my fucking leg. Fucking. Let's continue. Dick. Bro, I can't. I, yo, this, bro, man. <sighs> you don't know if he's had blood work yet. You don't. How the fuck do you not know? Again, let me explain. Like, this is how you know you don't know how the real fucking world works, dumbass. They're asking you if she's had blood work done, or he. They're asking you because they want to know about what they're checking for. They're asking you if it has been done, you know. When they ask me if she's had her blood work done, I say yes because of her thyroid issues. Because that's what they need to know. They need to know why we're checking their blood. <laughs> If they've had their blood work done. I, I just... <gasps> Fuck, this is the bit, isn't it? 
this is the bit where he, oh fuck right okay this is the bit um i feel like i should take a break for this one yeah yeah let's let's take a break right i've had a bit of time to think about this but obviously i've had a bit of time <laughs> since people have told me about this bit um i've had a lot of time to think about like what to say at this point um but i think at first i should see it before I, I i talk about it so so i said no he hasn't had blood work he's never had a reason to have blood work he's i never had a serious illness or whatever right i can't already i can't i can't i can't i can't right okay phil phil having blood work is a normal thing it, it's a normal thing that that pets often do um it, it's how the vet checks for things if the vet if the vet suspects that something is wrong um unfortunately i don't know if you know this phil but um our pets can't tell us when they're ill so we have to check a number of things that's why they will often ask about how often they're going to the litter trade how often they're going to poo how often they're going to wee um how much wee is there is there anything in it you know how is is the poo solid or is it you know soft and liquidy they, they ask us to check these things because your animal can't tell us hey i'm feeling unwell um this is wrong with me when when we go to the hospital we tell them yeah um i've been feeling unwell for this long um it's in my stomach it hurts to do this and this is happening we can tell them those things animals can't so we need to check and that's why you occasionally have to have blood work done for your pet it's not in case something is wrong it's not when something is wrong it's to check nothing is wrong again I thought I would have a lot to say, but I'm just blown away by like how unprepared he is for this, how how little he knows about owning a pet. I wanted to get to the other side of this. I wanted to get to, to the bit where, you know, we, we all know he's coming up, but I couldn't even make it through that. I, I, how does he not know? How do you not know, Phil? How do you not know like the basics of owning a pet? You're 41. You've had a cat for like three years. I'm, I'm really like, you know, when it sinks in. <laughs> like, before she was ill. Occasionally you go through that, they have a checkup. You take blood work just to check. It's it's to check things. It's to check things like white and red blood cell count. It's to check things like liver enzymes. It's to check that everything is okay. Mine has to have them done to check thyroid issues. And while they're there, they look at other stuff like white and red blood cell count and liver enzymes. They look for other things. And, you know, most of the things with my cat came back okay. She's a little underweight. Um, obviously, she's got a thyroid problem that we're bringing down. And she also has low white blood cell count. And this might be a, um, a side effect of the medicine that she's on. Because it is a known side effect of that medication. Or it could be something else. So, they, they, they take blood samples to check... Because you don't want to just say, hey, let's move her off this medication onto something different if it's not the medication, but if it's something else. So, you know, you have to go and have blood samples taken. It's... <sighs> Seriously, 320 quid. It's a thing you do when you're a pet owner. It's, it's a thing that's done. It's not something that happens when your cat is ill it's a thing that you do to check that your cat's okay so you know he never had that you know so he's only, he's here for his exam and his rabies vaccine right so they said okay well you know uh we think you should have blood work why well you know it's a routine thing for these cats every few years they should have blood work it's a way to check for diseases it's a way to check for this or that i'm like all right so Let's talk. Let's be real here. Let's talk cost. Well, what would I be? I mean, I, like, <sighs> right? 
Right, okay. Okay, let's be fair. You know, I, I, I ask about cost as what they tell you. When they say, you know, we need to take these things. Like I said, when we were there last, they said, you know, because she's got a bit of a full bladder, do you mind if we take a urine sample? Because normally we don't, because normally it's a difficult thing to do. So do you mind if we do that and test for this? Just to make sure that she's, you know, okay. And I said, yeah, sure. And they told me how much it would cost. Just so you know, it costs this much. It's going to cost this much. Like, yeah, okay, fine. Because for me, I want to make sure. I want to make sure she's okay. You know, especially now that she's an older cat. But when your cat is younger, it's not necessarily a thing that they're going to need to check every time. So it's not always a thing that you do every checkup. But you, you still get it done every now and then, like I just said. <laughs> and like they just said. It's a routine thing. They check for stuff to make sure that they're all right. Like, they might check the thyroid levels to make sure that the thyroid gland's working fine. They might check the, you know, liver enzymes to make sure that there's not a problem with the liver. They might check their white and red blood cell count to make sure they've, they've got an autoimmune disease. You know, they, they, or there's, they, there's not like, you know, a feline anemia or feline sickle cell anemia. You know, they, they just check. They check things. It's a normal thing. But I get asking about cost. That's fine. They tell you, you know. So that's not necessarily a bad thing to ask about the cost, right? And I don't feel like there's going to be many times during this I'm going to actually be in defense of Phil. But it's fine to ask that at the vets when they say, we'd like to do this test on your cat. It's a normal routine thing and it's going to cost this much. That's, that's, that's an okay piece of information to want to know. Right? That's fine. It's what's coming next that's the problem. So I said, no, he hasn't had blood work. He's never had a reason to have blood work. He's I never had a serious illness or whatever. So, you well, know. Well, he had a UTI once. You know, he never had that, you know. So he's, only, he's here for his exam and his rabies vaccine, right? So they said, okay, well, you know, uh, we think he should have blood work. Why? Well, you know, it's a routine thing for these cats. Every few years, they should have blood work. It's a way to check for diseases. But what? what, what? Bro, you told her. Yeah, I don't think my cat has ever had blood work. And then she was like, you know what? We should, we should probably get her some blood work done. So we can know that, you know, he's all good. Since he hasn't had any kind of blood work done before. What do, what do I owe you now? And what am I going to owe you if we have blood work? Okay? So she goes, well... For the exam and the rabies vaccine today, it's $109, okay? But if we do the blood work, it's $450. What? Yeah, yeah, like, vet bills cost a lot, Phil. Like I said, 320 I'm going to convert her, actually, right? I'm going to have a quick look at this converter now. 327 34 is what I got. It's $428. That's about as much as I paid, right? That's what I'm getting right now. I'm going to screenshot that, actually, just to make sure that it's current for this bit. But that's that's roughly what I paid for mine. Well, for the exam and the rabies vaccine today, it's $109. Okay. But if we do the blood work, it's $450. What? And I was like... Fucking cunt is going to complain about fucking money. Phil, you're the one that's fucking telling us our day that fucking Jasper's been vomiting for attention or shit, which is a weird sign. You're telling us Jasper's randomly been fucking sick, apart for fucking attention from you? I would fucking just get the goddamn blood work. If your cat's randomly fucking thrown up all over the fucking snort forts, then fucking make sure they're looked after. Don't- You cannot fucking put a price on the health of your fucking family. And yes, I include pets in that sometimes, I get- Pets are family, let's be honest guys. I know- I know we mock Phil sometimes for fucking calling Jasper family, but what's for real? When it comes to our own pets, they're pretty much family. We think you should have blood work. Why? Well, you know, it's a routine thing for these cats. Every few years, they should have blood work. It's a way to check for diseases. It's a way to check for this yeah. and that. I'm Sounds like, very... All right, so Technical, let's yeah. talk. Let's be real here. Let's talk cost. Of course. <laughs> of course. Of course. Go straight to the money. Yearly needs to be checked for blood work. Sounds very reasonable to me. What do, what do I owe you now? Yeah, reasonable. What do I owe you now? And what am I going to owe you if we have blood work? Okay? She goes, well... For the exam and the rabies vaccine today, it's $109, okay? 
seems normal. But if we do the blood work, it's four hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. What? I mean, they got to draw the blood. They got to send it to a lab. They get tested, and that test has to be sent back. Yeah, yeah. yeah blood that, work's usually expensive, especially for yeah. animals. That's yeah, fact. yeah. That is a fact because it's like they have to get the test done. They have to call you back. It's like we'll call you with the test results for you to come back in. Yeah. Now we know how hospitals and medical, you know, they like to upcharge. Like that, that they charge for anything, but that's like an insurance type thing. But yeah, it's a little bit a little expensive. You know, well, it's anything for a pet. Because it's not like us, like we the insurance, they just bill the insurance for most of it, and you only pay partial. It's not like that. Yeah, if you have pet insurance, then... Which I have never met someone in my life that has pet insurance. Yeah, which is a thing, and it's the same thing like act, like health insurance, pay partial. Yeah, yeah I, I've never, like, I have I don't have pet insurance for mine. I don't, so, like, you're going to pay a lot, just like you would pay if you didn't have insurance for yourself. <laughs> exactly. like, like this guy when he very well knows i was using right. a character i can't use the, the, the research team has reported to back to me once again and, uh, character. i'm not using my block apparently it's about 250 dollars on time. average that's why there's no point to get a full well, everyone, just let them scan a full spectrum scan for your kitty cat wasting everyone's time okay? tonight it's like that's the full like it's the re and we have a renal compromised kitty cat the black one you've guys seen you, you might hear too but you know we, we take care of him the best we can. We treat him the best we can. And he's on a specialty diet and all the, the things that come with it. Always. <laughs> and I get past the cat. Yeah. And he's a, he's a good boy. And uh, we, we try to take the best care of it we can. So he gets, he gets full on screen screen come, uh, you know, three times a year. So pretty much you're, we're not, we're not even paying for three of this handsome kitty's tests. You know, in in the amount that Phil, you know, supposedly got priced at and, and thought it was a scam. So he, he's avoiding taking care of his animal and, and complaining about the money or what? Why? Like, are you, are you trying to scam your audience just like the vet scamming you? I, I, don't, I don't know if that's the that's the full right move on it at all. Hold on. We got, we got other information. That that that's a true statement. Miss Proper says that apparently we're in California. I don't know. I sometimes I forget it's not hell, but uh, it, it's one of the most expensive states to live in, and uh, you know it's probably comparable to those uh, good old Seattle price points that Pig Roach is so used to. And I was like, four hundred and fifty dollars. But there's nothing wrong with him. Why do I want you to do three hundred fifty dollar blood test? To make sure that there's nothing wrong with him. You you don't know what's actually wrong with him. He could have feline leukemia. You wouldn't know, <laughs> you know, until it started getting really bad and he started chucking up everywhere and there was blood in everything. You, you, you need to check these things every now and then. You can't just assume that everything is okay. You need, that's why we, like, go for tests ourselves. That's why we have checkups with our doctors, GPs. And, yeah, it's expensive, but it's the vets. Again, like I said, if your insurance isn't covering you, it's going to be expensive. I, I, but it's like, why would you, because it's, because it's not, I think, right, Phil, I know that you think this is how it is, but it's not. Right? You're wrong about this. This is not a thing that's done when your pet is ill. This is a thing that's done to make sure your pet is okay. Cats especially can get certain diseases throughout their lives. So you need to check certain things. Just like dogs can get certain things throughout their lives. And rabbits can get certain things out of their lives. And guinea pigs can get certain things out of their lives. I'm sorry for everyone who owns like a bird or a, or a fish and feels insulted by the fact that I don't include their pets here. Assume that, you know, your costs are going to be just as much, if not more. Um, but anyway, you all get the point. You check up your pets. Your pets can't tell you, hey, I'm feeling like this. So you need to check certain things. And one of those things is blood work, right? You need to check your, your pet's blood. And you need to check it for certain things. You can't just do one check that tells you everything. You need to do different tests to test for different things. So it can require multiple samples, for example. Sometimes they make, like, 
may take like like two samples or three, depending on which test they're running. So, yeah, Phil, you do it because you want to make sure your pet is okay. Those tests can reveal if your pet has an underlying illness, say if there's something wrong with their kidneys or their liver. That's why you check. You don't do it when they're ill. That defeats the purpose of it. You do it to make sure they're not ill. You okay? Oh, he's rolling over. He's doing each other a nice good stretch. It's okay for some in it. Well, for the exam and the rabies vaccine today, it's $109. That's a good okay. deal. But if we do the blood work, it's $450. Call it. What? That is normal. I, I like, paid that and I live in a suburb, not in a city where it's more expensive. There's something wrong with him. Why do I want you to do $350? Dude, how do you what? know something's not wrong with him? Are you a veterinarian, Phil? Did you go to school? Did you practice some little animal cadavers in the lab? Did you walk across the stage with a degree? No to all of those. So shut the fuck up. That's exactly Indeed. what vets do. I'm getting salty over this. That's what I'm saying. That's what I said. I, I said this was, he's like, oh, he's healthy. Fuck him. He's like, you don't really give a fuck about this, Jasper, do you, Phil? Shit at all. That's like saying, oh, that baby's only crying for attention. It's the same thing. It's not about Phil, so it doesn't exist. Let's talk. Let's be real here. Let's talk cost. What do, what do I owe you now? And what am I going to owe you if we have blood work? Okay. So he goes, well, for the exam and the rabies vaccine today, it's $109. Okay. But if we do the blood work, it's $450. Yeah. What? And I was like, $450. But there's nothing wrong with him. Why do I want you to do $350 blood test? Ugh. Mm. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. Oh. Hey, Phil, once last time you had a physical, pal. <sighs> I'm, I'm really wound up by, by this, and it's, I didn't really sink in until this bit. Because I know what he's going to call this, but the, the, the sort of... the, the perspective that he's coming at it from doesn't make sense to me because you 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 don't take these things when your cat is ill you do take them when they're ill to check on how they're doing but you also take them when they're healthy to make sure they're not ill i don't get why you don't understand that that is a basic concept it's like a, a, a fundamental part of owning a pet Like, did his parents never take their cats to the vet, to the vets? Did they? Did they never? Like, was he never there for checkups and things? Did he not have like at least one cat that was his favourite that he wanted to know was okay when they went to the vets? I mean, like, like I understood this as a child, and having had a cat, I I, I know what it is as an adult. I don't, I don't get why he doesn't know this. I really, I. It's, okay, right, okay. I think it might be this. I think it might be time to talk about this because, see, I always assumed that um, when I did a video about Jasper, it would be a collaborative thing. Like, there'd, there'd, there'd be a bunch of us that would all do something and then we'd all put our clips together into one video that was released by someone. Um, like, and I thought I'd be part of that. Like, and I thought, that, you know, you'd have like a bit from Shinko and a bit from Piece of Peace. Uh, you know, a bit from like every every detractor that owns a cat or a dog, you know, and, and, and they'd all be like all these clips all explaining something different about the way Phil's going about something with Jasper. And I'd have a look at like the psychological side of it and see what I could get from that. And I think it's because he doesn't conceive of Jasper as 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 a being that he is responsible for. And it goes back to how he views Jasper as a cat and owning Jasper. Because obviously we all know 2KJ, he tried to monetize Jasper's appearance. He tried to monetize Jasper's reveal. So he had a purpose for Jasper already. Jasper was not a pet he wanted. Jasper was something he could take advantage of and monetize. Jasper fulfilled a role for Phil, much like Max's dog was part of Max's content. Jasper... One was going to be part of Phil's content. 
Phil wanted something he could monetize. And then maybe people would be like, hey, Jasper's on stream and sending tips. Be like, hey, give Jasper a pet for me. And, you know, here's some money for treats for Jasper and stuff like that. He, he thought he could make it part of his stream. He didn't conceive of it as a pet. He didn't conceive of it as an actual animal, a, 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 an individual being that has its own independent wants and needs that he, as a pet owner, should be fulfilling. He, he didn't see the cat as a pet cat. He saw it as something he could have on stream. And he picked a cat because he thinks they're lower effort than dogs. Therefore, they must be lower effort as pets. So as long as I make sure it's, you know, it, it's got food and, you know, it'll sleep most of the day anyway. So it'll be fine. It'll be a low effort pet. And occasionally I could come in and it'll be on my lap and it'll be cute. And, you know, people will give me money because it's cute and adorable. He didn't think of it as something that has demands. Younger cats, especially older cats, will sleep a lot more. She's sleeping a lot more nowadays because she's nearly 17, which is getting on in cat years. Um, but younger cats can require a lot of attention. They can be quite energetic, especially younger male cats. Younger female cats tend to be a bit more sort of, you know, they're a bit more placid. Older male cats, uh, younger male cats tend to fight a lot more. You know, obviously, if you have two female cats of a random similar age, they're going to fight until one asserts dominance. But, you know, typically younger males are more energetic and they're the ones that, that kick off more. Um, but either way, younger cats have a lot more energy than older cats. And Jasper's quite young, so he's going to have a lot of energy. He's going to want a lot of attention. He's going to want more attention than Phil was expecting and was prepared to give him. And that's why he acts up a lot. There's a certain point where I wanted to put a montage of Phil complaining about Jasper acting up. Um, but I have a feeling that like Pig Pig going through all that might annoy editor Steve. So there might be like a bit here where he talks about it. Um because he's going to have to look through a lot of clips of Phil complaining about his cat wanting attention. Nothing too particularly crazy or anything like that. But I will say this, Jasper, he's been a terror these last couple of days. Because it's been so hot, I think, his behavior changes. Right? This happens with cats. Is when things distinctly change in the environment, then they change their behaviors as well. And what we've noticed is two things. Number one, he wakes up early, like like way earlier than, than what we need to get up. And he's waking us up like, Jasper, we're not getting up now. Like, why are you doing this? We're not getting up right now. You know, that's number one. And number two, um, he's been acting up and really, really demanding a lot of attention. Like every waking moment, he wants attention from us. And if we don't give it to him, then he starts to try to misbehave because he knows if he misbehaves and does things he's not supposed to do, he'll get our attention. You know what I mean? So it, it's tough. And, you know, without going into massive detail about it, because I don't need you to know the ins and outs of what our cat does. But basically, he has been kind of getting us on our wits end. It's funny because when he's with us and we're relaxing and, you know, he's purring and he wants pets or whatever, that's cute. But then it's like, okay, Jasper, you know, we got to do this something now. We're in the middle of doing something. You know, we can't be with you every moment. Oh, but that's it. He's dancing all over everything right in front of us where he's not supposed to be. He jumps on things and goes places and tries to eat things. He knows he's not supposed to eat, but he's doing it on purpose. You know, he wants that attention, that love. And that's why I tell you guys, we are not planning on getting another pet while we have Jasper. Reason being, he 100% is the kind of pet that is ultra demanding of all attention. He wants to be the center of attention in the house. This is a personality type for certain cats where they absolutely need to be 100% the focus of everything. And if they're not, they're very upset. They're known to act out. They're known to do naughty things if they're not. So can you imagine if right now he's the only pet in the house, right? And we're giving him a lot of attention constantly. And the moments we don't, he's already acting up. Can you imagine if we got another cat or if we got a dog? You know what I'm saying? And we got another pet that's now taking attention away from him. Those moments, he would go crazy. He'd probably try to destroy the house, right? He'd probably be pooping and peeing all over the place. He'd probably be, you know, purposefully trying to eat things or, or vomiting, making himself vomit to get attention. And that's not good, obviously. That's bad. And, you know, that's why you kind of, you don't know what you sign up for when you get a pet. And by the way, I'm not complaining. He's an amazing cat and an awesome pet. But yeah, times like this, especially when uh, 
you get a situation where, you know, you think that you think you should be nice and calm. It's summertime. We're going to relax. It's the opposite. He's got us on our wits end, you know, causing problems and just in general, constantly kind of trying misbehavior. Wake up in the early, early in the morning. No, we're not getting up now, Jasper. It's supposed to be our day off. Why are you waking us up so early in the morning? You know, why does my cat wake me up instead of an alarm? Because Jasper likes to get up early. Even though I have my alarm set, he likes to get up early and he tries to wake me up every day via various methods, whether it's licking my face, whether it's kneading the sheets, crawling all over me, uh, curling up in my arm and snuggling with my arm. He has this thing where he curls over in my arm and he hits his leg over my arm like this. He has a leg casual, like sticking out over my arm. He has all this silly stuff. That's correct. Lunch says the son wants his breakfast. Luckily, that's what it is. He woke up and he probably wants to eat. So he wants me to let him out of the bedroom so he can go get food. Why don't I lock him out of the bedroom? Because he will not go to sleep otherwise. If we lock him out of the bedroom, he just runs around the house all night long making noise. Meowing, pawing the door. He's the kind of cat. He's a social cat. He wants to be with the humans as much as possible. And if he's not, he gets upset. That's why. <clears throat> Jasper would not work with a sibling cat, as I just explained. Jasper is a social cat that's very demanding. His personality type is, I'm the center of attention. Pay attention to me. If anything else is going on in the environment that takes our attention away, he actually gets upset and he starts to act up. So can you imagine if there was another cat in the environment that we're paying attention to? He would be so upset. He'd be acting up. He'd probably piss and shit everywhere. He'd try to destroy the whole house because he's upset that we're not just giving him all of that attention. You know, that's just the kind that he is. How is Jasper today? He's acting up. He was being very, very mischievous this morning, actually. Yeah, Jasper was being mischievous today. He's basically getting in our way and kind of getting our attention while we're trying to do our morning routine today. Some days he's like that. Some days he demands all the attention from everyone in the house. How Ken and Jasper, they're good. They're relaxing downstairs. Jasper's sadly been a little bit uh, of a troublemaker today. He's eating a lot of things around the house he should not be eating. You know, he's finding things on the floor and he's vomiting up, which is not good, obviously. Making a big mess. It's something he does every once in a while. He's looking for attention, which is weird because the cat's home to give him attention. He's still acting up, but it is what it is. And by the way, one final thing. I did a short today. A YouTube short. Jasper Kitty jumped into the chair um, after I'd taken a brief break to use the restroom and we wouldn't move. So I did a little YouTube short of it and people liked it. You know, that's the kind of stuff I'm going to do with Jasper. Little things here or there. If he's around the house doing something silly or, you know, acting up at the office, I'll probably do a little YouTube short with him in it. And I think people will like that. So in the meantime, I was just asked what's going on with Jasper today. Well, Jasper was in here before and blocking the TV, and you haven't even noticed. Recently, he's been acting up a lot lately when he's allowed in my office for my stream. So I had a theory today. I said, you know, today I'm playing Lost Judgment. And this is a game where basically it's okay if he blocks the TV. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not Halo. It's not GTA where I got to see where I'm driving. I can actually kind of allow him to just do what he wants, and we can actually see what happens. Will he basically kind of learn his lesson, right? Well, guess what? He learned his lesson when he realizes, oh, just because I'm in front of the TV feels not going to silly and give you all the attention. And he chilled on the floor for a while. He was in the window for a while. And actually, now he's gone. So I think he actually went into the bedroom. He's probably, like, uh, you know, relaxing in there. In the bedroom, he's got his little blanket at the foot of our bed. That he's kind of late. And he's probably sleeping on that right now. <clears throat> so, really, guys? the good news is Jasper's allowed in here if he wants to be. He can come in here later. But for now, he's probably off relaxing in another room and uh, won't interfere with the gameplay, which is good. Jasper is licking my toes again. <laughs> Jasper, it tickles. It tickles when you do that. Why are you licking my toe? You're such a knucklehead. Oh, my goodness. Ah! Don't bite the toe. Hey, hey, don't bite the toe. Oh, that's it. I have to go get the twisty because he's acting up. He's biting my toes. I can't have him biting my toes. Jasper, do you see this twisty? Do you see it? Go get it. That was the slowest reaction. He didn't even run after it. He just like slowly got up and walked casually into the hallway. 
Okay. I received a $20 tip from... I can't say this name. Had... Hadrique Sand Blugins? I... Wait. I have no idea what that name means. Before I, before I do anything with it, to make sure I don't get in trouble, let me look up this name online, because it's, it's another language. Jasper, get down. Do not paw the TV. Why are you acting up today? So, <sighs> All right, guys. Now we can actually play the game. So thank you for the contributions. We got a new magic loadout. Jasper Kitty, you have to get down. Get down. Get down. Oh my god. Jasper Kitty, get down. I need to play the game. Stop blocking the TV. Holy crap. <laughs> He's really acting up today. Like, he was acting up on the pre-stream. He's been acting up all morning. So I hope he calms down and he stops... Uh, he stops with this nonsense. Seriously. Okay, are we ready? Alright, here we go. Jasper, stop it. Stop trying to attack the wires. You have a twist me right there. Dangerous Dave is asking, will Jasper Kitty appear on stream today? Possibly tonight on the late stream. Starting tonight, he's available to come on whenever, into the stream whenever he wants. But of course, you guys know last week he was acting up constantly, coming in here and chewing the wires. I hope he doesn't do that tonight. I guess we'll have to see. Now I'm off to join the Champions Club. I don't know about you guys. Uh, Romy Rowe just did 110 bit cheers. So why not a water spray bottle for Jasper? I have one. It's in the bedroom currently. Because I told you guys about this. Like last week, he was actually acting up. And there was one night where I barely got any sleep because of him. Um... So currently it's on the other end of the hallway. If I needed to get it, I could get it. But right now he's behaving. He went down. He's laying down. Like I said, behind my entertainment center, there's tons of air, open air space. And he's sitting down right there with the warmth of the PS5 blowing on him. And he loves that. So he'll probably behave for the rest of the night now. So someone in the stream chat, I didn't catch the name. They said the reason that Jasper's probably acting up sometimes in the office is because there's a problem. Well, I know what the problem is. There's different personality types for cats, okay? Some cats absolutely want no human interaction whatsoever they just want to be left alone if you try to bother them they'll claw your ass okay those are considered red types of personalities okay then there's oh, fuck then there's the blue i think blue there's red blue and green I, I always get red uh blue and green confused but one of them is the kind of cat <clears throat> that every once in a while appreciates pets or whatever but for the in general that cat is an independent cat it can usually survive and be by itself. It doesn't necessarily need tons of human interaction. My parents have a cat like that, where the cat will every once in a while come by for a pet and some food, but then just wants to be left alone the rest of the day. Okay? So that's considered, I think that's blue. And then Jasper would be considered green. Now what green is, is a cat that absolutely wants constant attention, wants to be a part of the action no matter what it is, always wants to be in the middle of everything going on. Um, it doesn't matter if it's something realistic for a cat or not. That cat, you're cooking, cat wants to be in the middle of it. You're, you're sitting on the couch, cat wants to be with you. You're gonna go, oh, you're gonna play a video game. Cat has to be in the office in front of the TV. You see, that's the kind of cat Jasper is. Um, and, you know, is it very attention-seeking. And the thing is, we give him tons of attention. When I'm not streaming, I give him attention. My wife gives him tons of attention. And it's not that he doesn't have anything to do. Oh, my God. He has plenty of things. He has a cat tree he can climb. He's got tons of toys around the house. He's got nice places he can hide and do that instinct where they like to go into, like, cave-like areas and hide. He can sleep in multiple areas. He's got all these things he can be doing. But he wants attention. He wants attention from the humans. Oh, that's not how we're supposed to do it. Quick. So if I can get inside, I believe there's a staircase down. I, w I wonder how you get inside here. So anyway, um, you know, that's the thing. That's the kind of cat Jasper is. It's not that we don't give him attention and we don't give him toys or anything. He just wants our attention no matter what. He wants our attention. He's never going to be the kind of cat that says, Oh, I'm independent. I'll just leave me alone. I'll be happy. No, he, he wants to be up in everything. Jasper Kitty, don't do it. I told you already, Jasper, do not go up there. He almost went up there again. Because now I'm playing and he sees the motion on the screen and it distracts him. But he can't go up there. He keeps jumping up there and pawing the TV. Which he's either going to damage the TV or he's going to knock it over. 
I can't have him do it. Oh man, he's misbehaving tonight because he wants attention. Jasper Kitty, I said no. Jasper Kitty. Jasper, that's it. That's it. Now you're in trouble. I'm going to have to throw you out of this office if you do it again. That's it. You've had too many chances. This is your last chance to behave. Now you laid down. This is your last chance to behave. I'm trying to be nice. I'm really trying to be nice with this guy. And I love I love my cat. Don't get me wrong. I really love Jasper. He's a fun cat, but he sometimes he just doesn't want to listen because he just wants to do create mischief. And tonight he really wants my attention. He's trying to create mischief, and I can't have him doing it. Can't have him damage my TV, and I can't have him bite a wire and get hurt. So if he's got to get out of the office, he's got to get out of the office. Ugh. We'll see what happens. I hope he behaves. Now he's now he's laying down cleaning himself. So maybe he'll behave now. <laughs> Jack Roxer says I think you need to throw him out so you can do the stream. I mean. It's obvious he wants the attention badly, you know. But let's see what happens. Hopefully now he'll behave. Now he's laying down nicely and cleaning himself. Okay. So I just like as a I look like I look like a I So I can get over here, but I can't wait around. I'm not sure I'd be here. It was like a man. Oh my God! Sure. I'm just going to go over here. Jasper, I'm going to throw you out. I'm warning you. This will be it for you. Don't go up there. That's it. Jasper, you're out of here. He jumped up there again. You know, I know what I really think it is. It's the 60 frames. He never did this before PS5. All right, buddy, you're out of here. Let's go. Well, let's go. You're out. You're out of here. I'm sorry. You can't be in here tonight. You're acting up, and I gotta quit the game. Okay? Sorry, buddy. I'll see you after. Ugh. <laughs> I don't like doing that. You know what I think? I'm honest. I think it's the PlayStation Five. It's the 60 frames because he used to always be in here. He never jumped in front of the TV. Only since I got the PS Five does he jump in front of the TV now. So I think with more 60, with more frames of animation. Okay, he's seeing the, the extra animation and it catches his eye. I think so. It was actually funny because what was it? the other day there was snow and the snow attracted him. So that's what I think it is. Like maybe the 30 frame stuff didn't look realistic to him because, you know, he's never seen different frame rates. He's not playing video games and watching movies. Anyway, I don't know. That's, what, that's just my theory. That's my theory because uh, he's never ever acted like this before. We need to talk about this clip. Um, it won't be a long talk, but I do need to, to, to mention this because um, obviously I, I knew I was going to have to do this bit. Uh, Past Steve was right, going through all the clips of Phil talking about Jasper being, you know, like demanding of his attention and all that. It was very frustrating. Um, there's, there's, there's stuff I wanted to mention about other clips, like how... You know, Phil closes the door, keeps him in the bedroom, so he's not waking them up all night. And, you know, the, the temperature, it's now hotter, so he's changing his behavior. All, there was all sorts of stuff. It was really frustrating. It was building. I spent hours looking through clips of this, of, of this shit, getting increasingly wound up. Because, obviously, these things are irritating and annoying. He's very, very wrong about them. And a cat owner, you know, you... you your empathy goes to the cat. And then I got to that one. And it absolutely broke me. Like 100% cracked me up. I couldn't breathe. I was dying. When I clicked that link from Pig Pig Go. And it opened up. And it started. I just couldn't keep it together. I, by the end of it, by the end of that, that short bit, I, I, I couldn't breathe. I was in tears. There, there was just something about amongst all this bad pet ownership and all this, like, you know, he's he's throwing up to get our attention. All this shit that made you think that poor fucking cat. And then he goes, do you know what I think it is? It's the 60 frames per second. It's the PS5. It, it just broke me. It was just too fucking hilarious. I couldn't keep it together so um 
I, that was that was the point when I was like, I'm done. I'm done with this. <laughs> it's, it's obviously going to stretch further back. This isn't behaviour that suddenly started at that point. Obviously, Phil is going to be frustrating about the cat earlier. But I thought, that's it. You all get the point now anyway. You've seen enough clips. You know, what's, you know what point I'm making here. But that fucking clip of Phil saying... <laughs> 60 frames per second. <laughs> with the PS5. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> <laughs> I think I was struggling to breathe. <laughs> the first thing I thought was like, I've got to show them. I've got to show the guys that that being said. So I went to my Discord, posted it, and they were like, what the fuck is that? That was fucking incredible. <laughs> so I've sort of been sat in it for a bit. Because I wanted to tweet about it. I wanted to tweet it out and be like, look, how fucking mental is this? But I also didn't want to be like, hey, it's like a, a spoiler for my video. He's like something I found. Um, so I sort of sat in it for a bit. But yeah, on, on that being said, when Sam was like, should, should we tell him? I was like, yeah, fuck it. it it's too good now. It's one of my favourite things. It's it's up there with Operator Household. And, and why am I toxic? It's just one of those classics for me that I, I'm just going to like forever love for the wrong reasons Phil made me laugh. And, you know, I, I, I can appreciate that. <laughs> like, everybody has a limit. Everybody has a limit where he just does something that's just like completely unexpected and it cracks you up. And it's just like, it's just so stupid. I think that's, that's the like uniting factor. That's the unifying thing. That's the common theme here that Phil is capable of making you laugh for the wrong reasons because he does something that's so stupid that you can't, like, predict it in advance. I could never have, like... Like, if my cat was jumping at my telly, I'd never in a million years would have thought it must be the 60 frames per second. I just... I, I would And I know that cats look, you know, the different... Um, they, they Their eyes are different to ours. They, they need more frames per second they perceive movement differently so you know uh, it could very well be that the cat notices that there's a difference but he's not going to be able to comprehend it in that way and it and it's certainly not the reason why he's going to be jumping at the screen when he's so attention starved as it is it's more than likely going to be he wants your attention that's why he's acting up it, it's just incredible it's fucking incredible and it shows just like how completely oblivious to the, 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 the basic things about cats that Phil is. He, he just knows nothing, you know. So, yeah, that's one of my favourite bits. And like I said, this bit was originally going to be me being very serious about it because a lot of the clips that we've just seen are very serious. They hint at serious things, but I think you know, we're basically going to cover all that as, as the video goes on anyway. So... Yeah, we all get it by this point. Phil's a bad cat owner. Um, that's a fucking amazing clip. And um, let's get back to the video. So, yeah, ultimately, I think all of this boils down to the fact that Phil was woefully underprepared for owning a cat. He, as a narcissist, overestimates his skills in certain situations, in certain respects. And he obviously will automatically think he's right when it comes to certain things so if he's formed opinions on them he will think they're right and he won't stray very far from them unless he has to lie to cover them up but most of the time if he's thinking right a cat is a low effort pet there's not much that you're going to be able to say to dissuade him from his idea of what low effort entails you're not going to be able to convince him that this is a being that will want to wander it likes to move around its territory so he's going to think, no, it's a cat, it'll sleep this long, so I'll put it in a box and, and, and close it in a room. So he's overestimating his skills in this area, and he's also got a misconception of what it is to care for a cat because he's not seeing it as an animal. He's seeing it as something that fills a role, like cat. She fulfills the motherly role. She is his significant mother. She does all the domestic stuff like cooking and cleaning because in Phil's mind, that role is filled by someone like her. In Phil's mind, Jasper fills a role. 
he is something that he could potentially monetize. Or get, you know, sure, let's get virality out of it, get clips out of it. He knows the internet loves cats. So maybe if the cat's playful and does something silly on stream, that'd be a great clip. Either way, Phil wants to benefit from having this cat, but he's un unavailable. Not, not, he's not even unable to. He's unwilling to. He is unwilling to put in the energy and effort because he thinks he shouldn't have to. He doesn't think it requires that. He doesn't know how much attention and energy and effort Jasper is going to need. So he's not going to put it in. Because he doesn't think he should. He's And so he's completely ill-equipped for everything. And that includes the health care of the cat. That includes what it is to take your cat to the vet and what tests they might need to run. Because I genuinely don't know why you would think blood work is only done when your cat is ill. It is done to make sure your cat isn't ill. You do it to test for things. You don't do it like as treatment. You do it to check. You do it to test for. You do it to examine. You do it to look for. You do it to make sure there's nothing fucking wrong with your cat. It is a checkup. And they check for things. It's not just something you do when your cat is ill and you want to make sure the medicine's working, for example. Like, that's one of the reasons why she has blood work done. But it's not the only reason why she has blood work done. I also want to make sure she's okay in other respects. I don't get how he doesn't get it. Other than he just sees Jasper as an object. He doesn't think about what it is to own a cat. You just thought, I'll get a low effort pet and it'll be easy money. So he's not ready for the responsibility of a cat. Right? But this vet is actually like, like hard selling me on getting this blood test. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. You want to let him finish? It looks like he's about to say something from the way I've paused it. Actually, it looks like a midlife crisis zombie that wants to speak to your manager from the way I've paused it. Uh, let's, 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 let's let him finish. Like, there's, he's not sick. <laughs> oh, we got the laugh. Oh, we got the laugh. It was a mistake to let him finish because we got the laugh. Fuck. Um, once again, Phil, you're not being sold on this. The, the vet is informing you we could do this to check up on Jasper. We could run these tests to make sure he's okay. It costs this much, but we think it should be done because every now and then you need to check up on your cat. And you're like, but he's not sick. How do you not get this, Phil? How, 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 how do you not get this? How are you not getting what, what this is for? How do you not get why vets do this? It's a fucking checkup. The, 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 they're going to check things. <laughs> You're not being sold on it. The vet is strongly recommending that you do it to make sure that stuff like your cat's white and blood, white and red blood cell levels are fine. To make sure that his like liver enzymes are okay. You you, you do it to check up on a number of things. Let me... Once again, here's here's my cat's invoice. Uh, you can quite clearly see they break down what they're doing, especially in terms of what they're testing for. A urine sample was obtained to process to screen for urinary tract inf infection, bladder stones, liver or kidney damage, diarrhea, and patient hydration status. They check for things. There, there, there are only so many ways I can know that my cat has, say, a urinary tract infection. One of the ways is how she's weighing. Another one of the ways is having a check. The blood tests, 10 panel biochemistry profile and hematology and electrolytes test. They need to check for certain things in my cat's blood. Specifically now, her white blood cell count. So, it's got nothing to do with your cat being sick. It's to make sure your cat isn't sick. The only way you can 
not understand this is if you don't fully comprehend what it is to own a pet. Because I can't think of a single pet owner that's not had to do this. We've all had to take our pets to the vets for a checkup and they've all had to have blood work done at some point in their lives. I cannot understand how he doesn't understand this. Unless you don't think of him as a living thing. Unless you don't conceive of Jasper as a thing that needs care. That needs checking up. That needs certain things to be okay. You cannot conceive of that. That must be the... the, the, the how else? How else do you get to this point where he's like, you want to check up using blood tests? But they're not sick. Getting the hard sell. It's not about money, Phil. If it costs them $20, they do it for $20. It's expensive. You're running blood tests. And normally, you get them back within a day. I got the results for this This went Friday morning, 9 o'clock. I got the results at like half five. That same day. It was wild. You normally get them quicker than you do at the actual hospital. Your actual doctors. Your actual checks. I had a blood test a couple of weeks ago. And... Because I have to, because the medication I'm on, they need to make sure that my liver isn't breaking down and my kidneys are doing okay. So I went for that, and it took like a, like five days. It was, it was over the week. It's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. It was done on Wednesday, I think. Um, that took longer than than hers. So <laughs> the point is, they do it to check up. How does he not? How does he? How does he not know? Also, mango ice cream kitty, you are really not helping by saying it sounds like a scam. I know, I know, I know what you're doing. I see what you're doing. I get it. I get it. But again, it's Jasper. It's it, it's an innocent being. When it's Phil, if Phil was complaining about needing to pay the hospital for blood blood tests, he's like, they took my blood even though I'm not ill. You know, I was just there for a checkup. That's fine. But Jasper's involved. And I'm a cat owner. So I might be taking it a bit too personally. I might be a bit more offended than I should be. But I feel like this isn't one of those where you want to encourage Phil. I feel like when it comes to Jasper, you all need to put the cat's priority first over fucking with Phil. That's just my personal opinion. But... Yeah, also, sorry, sorry. I don't mean to sound like I'm like I'm calling you out because I do think it's you're pretty funny, and you know it's a miracle that you've not been banned given that name. But yeah, when it comes to stuff like this, where Jasper's involved and Jasper's care is involved, and potentially Jasper's health is at risk, um, I do feel like we should maybe calm it down on like being on Phil's side and more like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Put your pet's health first, you know. Four hundred and fifty dollars, but there's nothing wrong with him. Why do I want you to do three hundred fifty dollars blood test, right? But this vet is actually like like hard selling me on getting this blood test. Like, there's he's not sick. <laughs> you know? They checked him out. They checked him out and decided that he needed to get that shit done. You've admitted multiple to all oh, my mama, bro. Like, yo, us. He's, yo, I'm, I'm telling you, he's so lucky. He is so lucky. This is not... Uh, fucking dumbass, oh, bro. And she, but this vet is actually, like, like hard selling me on getting this blood test. Hard sell. He's not sick. This is not a clear coat for a car or tinted you know, windows. This is what, a basic it. service. Like, no, really, I'm telling you, I'm recommending as that you should... I was like, we're not doing the blood test, all right? This is why the vet hates you. Because he knows okay. better, like I said, than someone who went to school for this shit and has been doing it every day. And Phil knows more than them. 
Business I degree. bet you they recommend the blood work once or twice, and Phil's blowing it out of proportion. He absolutely is, man. He, he, he acts like the, at the end they added it on upside. Yeah, they're like, oh, we recommend the blood work, and Phil goes off at um on her, and she backs off. And like, like, now he's here blowing it out of proportion. I was like, we put that blood, we put that blood work on at the factory. We can't just take it off, sir. Uh, <laughs> I just the standing right on standing on someone's heels, telling them how to do their job should result in an elbow being thrown in his nose. You don't right. do that to people. I, like he goes in these things, he's like. I'm only spending this much and only doing this much. He's like, Jasper needs blood work. Get fucked, you bitch. You just want to take more money from me. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Like, she was intentionally trying to take advantage because Jasper was a subject. I doubt that's what was going on. And I was like, $450. But there's nothing wrong with him. Why do I want to do $350 blood test? You're an idiot. I, wait, wait. I thought it was yeah. 450 yeah, now it dropped. Now Freudian slip here. Seems like the lie is cracking. <laughs> Seeping through. That just dropped down real quick. Right? Yeah, real quick. But this vet is actually like like hard selling me on getting this blood test. Hard yeah, selling. Hard selling. Like oh it's a my. fucking car salesman. Right, right. No, 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 no. It's been a, it's been around the time where you should have gotten checked for any diseases they are saying hey you should really get this blood work because it's been this long we want to check this cat might be susceptible to this and we can't catch it here. we would like to catch it if it's here like and the weight problem that could be there could be a reason that they need to check the blood because you got a big garfield cat now like yeah. come on now because your cat might have a disease exactly have, like liver disease kidney disease cancer you never know Facts. Four hundred of the kitty gets it. God damn it! You know, and she kept pushing it. You know, and she kept pushing it. She's like, no, really, I'm telling you, I'm recommending as the you should. Do. I was like, we're not doing the blood test, all right? She kept pushing it. She kept pushing it. Phil, she's telling you, you your cat needs a proper checkup. She's telling you, we don't know if, if your cat's okay in these respects. There's only so much we can physically check for. And, you know, your cat is young, so it's probably okay. But to be on the safe side, to make sure he's not got, like, feline leukemia or something like that, we want to check his blood. Because that's how we find out. And and as your vet, I am recommending that you, you have you have these blood tests done for your cat because we don't know otherwise we might catch something early you you your cat might have like signs of feline diabetes coming up and we might be able to catch that we might find something in his blood that we can treat early because we've done a blood test so your cat might be okay or we could find nothing and your cat's perfectly healthy and fine. In which case, great. We know that they're not at risk for certain things like, like kidney failure or liver failure. Just, you, you, your vet is recommending it for a reason. You should be a responsible cat owner and fucking do it. I... I can't... I can't... It just hurts so much. <sighs> It annoys me so much because I remember being in that room when they told me, you know, that her, um, her thyroid had real issues because her thyroid levels were through the roof. Um, and I can still remember him saying, you're going to treat her. And I said, yeah, of course. Yeah. Like, what type of medicine? If she's ill, I want to treat her. And he said, good, because if you weren't, I would recommend euthanizing her. And I can still remember everything in the office sort of falling away from me. Because it was, it was the first time I'd, like, heard that. I mean, for her, obviously, I've had a dog that I had to down a while ago but um she's been 
mine for 15 of the 17 years she's been around so she's my cat and that was the first time i'd ever heard that in relation to her and it just felt like a real shock that that was actually a thing at this point so um that's sort of like when the you know significance of the situation for her sunk in and that's when i was like anything money stopped being an issue for me i thought i'll find some other way to pay it i don't care um you know i've got a credit card i'll fuck it it, it didn't matter to me i i just wanted her to be okay so you know we treat it and she's doing well but like i said she's got this issue now with white blood cells and they want to make sure it's the medication in which case change the medication or if it's something else and if it's something else then we'll treat that and if it's not something else and it is the medication we'll change the medication it'll be fine um but the point is when you know they check for stuff like that it's to make sure it's there or not so she has it done because she's older and because she has a condition so the best way to monitor that condition is through her blood tests whereas jasper is a younger cat and he's probably much healthier so there's probably nothing wrong with him but you still need to check and you do that by having blood tests done that's why your vet is strongly recommending that you do it. This isn't like when you go to have your car done and they're like, oh, this is out of line, we need to do this. And oh, this is wearing down, so we'll need to do this. And then, oh, this level of this fluid is low, so we'll have to do this. And then, oh, your leather seats are looking like this, so, you know, we'll need to put new seat covers in. And oh, your windows look like that, so we'll need to put a new tint on them. And, you know, it's, it's not like, like being upsold stuff for like your car or a holiday or whatever. It's your pet's health and you are responsible for that pet i cannot stress that enough phil you are responsible for that cat's health and the way you make sure that cat is all right is through tests you need to get your cat's blood tested so that they can know Times like this, I wish I drank. I, I, this is ridiculous. Like, we're not doing this blood test. I, you know, he came here for one thing. This is absolutely ridiculous. He came here for one thing. Didn't he earlier say that he was there for a checkup and his rabies vaccine update? So that's two things, Phil. Came here for two things. And one of those things is a checkup. And part of that checkup is a blood sample. You do tests using a cat's blood to check for things <sighs> sounds like a broken record but it's 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 something so basic it's just like how do you not understand that as a as, as a thing as a concept it's just such a basic thing like like not even of your cat's health, of your own health, of, 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 of healthcare in general. You need to test for things. And sometimes that involves blood. So by the way, at this point, we don't even know if he received his vaccine or anything. This vet told us nothing. So the vet says, all right, well, I'll be back. And goes into the back and disappears, I shit you not, for another 20 minutes. 20 minutes and then <laughs> all right that laugh makes me immediately suspicious of what he's just said considering that it follows a lie so i don't think they were waiting 20 minutes i think they were probably waiting more like five but do go on phil comes back again well doesn't never comes back we never saw the vet again if that even was the vet i don't know there was nothing on the thing the person that said they were the vet okay Finally, the vet tech comes out again. So now we've been here almost 90 minutes. 
Jasper's been in this carrier and he's very upset. He hates being in the carrier and he's been in here for 90 minutes. By the way, we weren't allowed into the room. If he even saw a room, I don't even fucking know, right? I have no clue. And, he, you know, what you want to talk about a night and day experience. Last year, they're nice, they're kind. Within 20 minutes, we're in an exam room. Jasper's out of the character, he, he, out of the carrier. He's playing, he's enjoying himself. He's having a good time, right? He gets his vaccine, which is quick. We're out of there within 40 minutes. We're 90 minutes into yesterday's visit, and we don't even know what's happened yet. I was ready to walk out. <laughs> oh, I am now questioning every aspect of this story. I think they had minor delays. I think they had a minor delay. How how is how is how is this so like how do you how do you not go in how do you not know what's going on how 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 have you not told us why you weren't allowed in what reason did they give you for not letting you in how don't you know what your cat went through why weren't you in the room with it tell us Phil and then comes back again well doesn't never comes back we never saw the vet again if that even was the vet i don't know there was nothing on the thing the person is did you ask so you're allowing random fucking people to go ahead and touch your fucking cat without verifying who they are or what they're doing to i can't i really i don't understand how this man i i, I don't get it i don't get it i don't fucking get it i don't fucking get it i don't fucking get i don't like i, 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 I swear to god bro Luna Guardian, thank you. At my on, I got all over my fucking leg. Let's continue. Luna Guardian, thank you for the 199 super chat. Hun Jasper passes away. I'm taking a trip, bro. I'm, I'm starting like, yo, this dude is a fucking nut. I told you, he's going to kill that fucking cat and make it seem like it's, it's something that happened. This is a fucking piece of shit, bro. You're an actual piece of shit. Like, forget your mental. Forget the fact that your mom dropped you on your head. Forget the fact that she probably smoked. Forget the fact that the fucking doctors crushed your head with their fucking forceps. You are an absolute fucking dumbass that really needs to be put in the fucking dirt. I yeah, I said it. My, I, I said all it. over my fucking leg. Let's continue. Klaus Mystery, thank you for the 20 Mexican pesos of Super Chat, honey. He's over-exaggerating. He is lying. I know. I know. See, the thing is, but the thing is, it's a double-edged sword that, that pisses me off either way. Because on one side, he's pissing me off by being a neglectful fucking cat owner. On, this, on the other side, he's pissing me off by trying to drum up fucking stupid-ass drama for no fucking reason. Either way, it's, it's still I'm still going to be the same way because this is unnecessary if it's not true. And if it is true, you need to be fucking in jail, Phil. I, I doubt they made him wait that long as well. They probably waited like an hour tops for everything. I, I just... You cannot trust him. That's the thing. It's all coming through the filter of an unreliable narrator. So you can't trust him at all. The way he paints the vet as saying, you know, you need to have this blood work done. Makes me think he's completely misunderstanding every social interaction from this point on. So he doesn't understand why he's waiting at all. And in his head, because he has to make it a huge thing, because he's a narcissist, he needs the drama, it fulfills his martyr complex. It makes him the victim. It makes him look like a vulnerable, sympathetic person. So he has to paint it as being this huge thing when really... It's just a normal inconvenience that everybody else goes through. So he was probably there for like an hour, tops. For everything. I bet Cat went into the room with him and he sat outside. That's why he didn't know what's going on. She went into the room. She's not said where she was. So I bet she went into the room and he made up this fantastic story of what was going on. While he was farting about on on champions in the in the waiting room, he's probably still outside because you couldn't get reception in there. Maybe I don't know. <sighs> I'm questioning every retelling of this, but most of all, I'm questioning why you didn't have the blood test done for your cat. And we all know why. Cat was very upset. She's like, "I want to get out of here. This is absolutely ridiculous." I said. If they don't come within five more minutes, we're leaving. And then they can figure out how to bill us. <laughs> okay. I'll tell you how they'll bill you. Because once I walked out without paying, it was a complete slip of the mind. You know, you just... 
you're in there, you have the tests, every, you know, they, they take her, they bring her back, they put her in the case, everything's fine. You go out, you need to book another appointment, so you wait in the queue for there, and then they come up to you, I can help you, yeah, I need to book another appointment. You take the booking, right, okay, great, everything's done, see you later, and you walk out, and then, like, you're like, you're at home going, I didn't pay. And then they phone you up, and they take your card number, and, you know, they, 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 they bill you that way. And then they send you the invoice, if you want. If you want, you know, going to make a claim. They'll make a claim for you most of the time as well. If you, if you've still got insurance, if it's still covered, they'll be like, just put that through in your insurance, yeah, please. They will get their payment, Phil. Especially because like this is in Britain. My experience is in Britain, America, the capitalist land of the free. They are. If they can get money, they're getting their fucking money. You cannot just be like storming out all Karen like right fine fuck you the service that we've had today has been appalling bye and a bit like you could fucking bill me send me a bill I don't care they'll phone you they'll get their money Phil Cat was very upset she was like I want to get out of here this is absolutely ridiculous I said if Jesus, they don't come in five too. more minutes we're leaving and then they can figure out how to bill us because <laughs> I've <laughs> oh. <laughs> bruh Everything Bro. in his life is about money. Everything. Bro. Not about the health. Not about they we go somewhere else. No, they can figure out how they're gonna get their money from us. Oh, Bruh. God. Jesus Bruh. Christ, Phil. Come on, player. Because I've had enough of this. This is fucking ridiculous. How we're being how we're being treated, right? So finally, the vet tech comes out again, not the vet. And says, all right, we're all set. I said, what do you mean you're all set? Well, we're ready to go. What do you mean you're ready to go? Did he get his vaccine? Oh, yeah, when well, we brought him back before, we examined him, we got him his vaccine, he's good to go. You didn't tell us. You never even, we've been sitting here an hour and a half, you never even told us that you did that, right? So I go up to the front, and I pay for the exam of the vaccine, and they give me that tag that says that he's been vaccinated or whatever. And they hand me a ton of paperwork. Now, I don't know what any of this paperwork is, Okay. Then you're a fucking idiot. You're an actual fucking idiot. I'm sorry. Tell me what paperwork it was. Because I have the feeling it's going to be something related to a treatment or something that he had done or insurance. And it's going to be something that you'll have to flick through at some point in your life. Either for your own health or for your pets. And I just know he's going to make a huge thing out of it. Even though it's going to be something so mundane like... You know, you need to sign this bill so that we can send it through to your insurance or whatever. And they gave me a ton of paperwork. I don't know what any of this paperwork is, okay? I wouldn't know until, you know, until... you try and read it. And they gave me a ton of paperwork. Now, I don't know what any of this paperwork is. Read okay? it! And they gave me a ton of paperwork. Now, I don't know what any of this paperwork is, okay? I wouldn't know until, you know, until I have a chance to read it. And I said, we, had, we got Jasper home. We had a ton of shit to do. We had to go grocery shopping. We had to do a ton of stuff. Are you fucking kidding me? Your pet hands your your vet hands you a big do packet of documents. You don't bother to at least give it a peruse when you get it. Are you f oh, Jesus Christ? And they hand me a ton of paperwork. Now, I don't know what any of this paperwork is. Okay, read it. I wouldn't know until you know until I have a chance. It's to probably it. intake paperwork right. for his first visit. Are you, are you ready to get mad again? Hold on. Let's go. I gotta pee. Go pee. I wouldn't know until, you know, until I have a chance to read it. And I said, we had, we got Jasper home. We had a ton of shit to do. We had to go grocery shopping. We had to do a ton of stuff. You didn't tell us. You didn't tell us what the paperwork was. So it would just be like, sign this so we can bill you. Or sign this to, you know, give consent for doing this. Or sign this to, you know, because it's an invoice. And we've we've done this thing. So, you know, here's your copy. It'll be that. It'll be like fucking receipts and shit. Here's your copy. Here's the stuff for your invoice. Here's like the test that we ran. Here's the results that we've got. Here's here's something for your insurance. It'll it'll be something like that because he didn't tell us what the paperwork was and he didn't understand it until he had the chance to read it. So he he, he, he just moved on. So it's probably going to be something mundane. It's going to be something that he can't spin into a massive drama or something against him, you know. It's not like some complex piece of, like, litigation that he has to sign off on. All this, like, consent and, like, you know, hey, yeah, I'll give you, yeah, here's my cookie settings, you know. It's not going to be something like that. It's going to be something like, here's the receipt, here's the paperwork. Like, look, A4. 
A4. I've had to fold it over a couple of times. It's an A4 piece. It's the receipt. But it's also got everything that they did on it. So, yeah. That's what it looks like, you know? Two pieces. Because I paid for one set of tests and then they were like, oh shit, we didn't put the um, the urine stuff on there. <laughs> so let's just add them on as well as an extra couple of quid. Um, so yeah, it's going to be something simple and he can't make a big deal out of it. So he's moving on. Anyway, yeah. So he had to wait a bit at the vets basically and he refused uh, to, to let them take Jasper's blood work because it cost too much. Again, like even more, even more than his back. Right, his back triggers me because of my experiences with my back. So when he talks about his back, it winds me up a bit more personally. Same with like his mental health. Every time he goes, you know, I was depressed or whatever, or or his talk of like addiction. You know, when he used to be an alcoholic, but now he's fine. All that stuff winds me up more than it should because of like what my personal experience of it is. But when he talks about Jasper. It's because there's a cat involved. There's, there's another being involved that can't take care of itself, that can't understand, like, you know, the consequences of actions and things like this. It can't understand how to express to you that it's not okay other than by crying, you know. It can't tell you, hey, I feel like this, or my stomach feels like this, or today uh, my head really hurts. It can't tell you those things. So you need to have other ways to check for them and... You do that through blood tests. So when it's when when the cat's involved, it's just it just feels a bit more serious, you know. He's responsible for that animal, and he's he's currently not living up to those responsibilities. That cat is going to die young of something preventable. Because he didn't want to pay for a blood test one time. I guarantee you, at some point, Jasper's, what, three, four now? Maybe five, I don't know. Jasper's young, so... Give it like maybe the next five years. Maybe ten. I feel like ten seems about right. I think Jasper might get to his mid-teens, but either way... He's going to die at a much younger age of something that he could have prevented because Phil wouldn't have wanted to pay for a test. Okay, I think we're at a point where he's just going to go on with like, oh, okay, you know, I have to do all these other things the rest of the day, blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to try to resist commenting on various things and get through this quickly because otherwise we'll be here all day. So later that night, all right, I come home. And we're finally, it's time, let's read the paperwork. It's like 8, 9 p.m. now, right? So I start reading the paperwork. And on the paperwork, all of a sudden, it says all this shit on the paperwork that this vet never told us about, all right? Number one, it explains the whole vaccination process. It says last year he got his first dose. This year's the booster. Now that he got the booster, he doesn't need a rabies vaccine for three more years. So we don't have to worry about getting him back to the vet for his vaccine next summer. It's taken care of. Cool. We got three years to wait till 2026. Did the vet tell us that? No. Never explain. Bro, it's on the fucking paperwork. That's why they give it to you. They tell you when you're in the room, but if you're not in the room, you still get a fucking printout of everything that they did. My, like, my dude... <laughs> You're not a baby. You shouldn't you, you shouldn't need it explained to you. You should be able to read it and understand. You're a fucking adult. You're 41. It's 41. It's 41. And, and, and he's complaining that the vet didn't explain this to him when they gave him the fucking paperwork to say, here's what we did. Here's his, here's his history. So we don't have to worry about getting him back to the vet for his vaccine next summer. It's taken care of. Cool. We got three years to wait till 2026. Did the vet tell us that? No. Never explain. Another thing, and this really he gave you the fucking okay? paper, you asshole. So let's let's rewind it. So you went, allowed these complete strangers to grab your child, 
and do whatever the fuck they wanted with it. Didn't ask any fucking questions. Sat there and let them do that and then give you a fucking piece of paperwork that lets you know what they did and you don't know how to fucking read it? You fucking dumbass. Okay? So we don't have to worry about getting him back to the vet for his vaccine next summer. It's taken care of. Cool. We got three years to wait till 2026. Should I? No. He, the vet just wanted to get him the fuck out of there because he was being a special. Absolutely. That too. But also, also, he says that and I'm like, God, I hope Jasper lives a long life. But who knows with DSP gaming. What? Like, I hope he lives a long life, but I just hope he doesn't suffer. Yeah, the way he says this, he's like, the vet didn't tell us all this shit. Is the vet supposed to sit down with you and literally go line item by line item? Most people, when they care about their pet, are going to ask the vet details. He just wants to get the fuck in and get the fuck out. Right. Wait, 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 wait. You didn't read it? No. When you got the damn thing, mm -mm. you didn't have cat like when you're driving because you don't want cat driving the car because the man has to drive. You didn't tell cat to read it. No. Nope. On the drive home. No, nope. he had no clue. He didn't know how to. You didn't hear him. You said I don't. Know. I can't, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Have a chance to read it. And I said we had, we got Jasper home. We had, all had. Oh, yeah. said he didn't have a chance. To and read they it. gave me a ton of paperwork. Now I don't know what any of this paperwork is. See, he didn't know what it was. He didn't know what it was. It could have been the spiders. It could have been. He didn't know what it was. That's when you read it. You look at it. Nope. Couldn't do it. God, you are such a child. No, it okay. couldn't happen. He had to be yeah. at home right. in the safe space. No, he so had to go shopping. I start reading the paperwork. You didn't fucking read it then. And why? You waited for several fucking hours to read the goddamn paperwork. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. And what did you find out, Phil? Another thing, and this really got me. Okay. There's something on there that we absolutely should have known. The vet didn't tell us. It says, Jasper is starting to show early signs of a little bit of dental plaque. Now, it's early. What you can do is you can do, um, like, dental treats. You buy cat dental treats and things, and it'll actually start cleaning their teeth nicely. And as long as you do it regularly, it should be not be a problem at all. He should be good. All right? But it even says on there, some cats, it doesn't actually help you know, using the dental treats. And long term, they might need to get tooth cleanings. All right? So, keep an eye on it. The vet didn't fucking say that at all. Bro, it's, it, again, it's on there. It's, it's, it's on his record. That's why they gave you the fucking paper. <laughs> You're an adult. You shouldn't need this explaining to you. You're 41, you shouldn't need this. Didn't I just say I will try to get through this quickly? How are you not getting this, Phil? How? You're a fucking 41-year-old man. You've had a cat for three years, at least. How are you not getting this? How do you not understand these things? You, you, you shouldn't need this sort of thing explaining to you by a vet. If it's there on the paper, if they're like, hey, here's his history. Here's, here's what we did. You read through it and understand it as an adult, right? That's why you were given it. So that you could read and understand what they'd done. See, this is the sort of thing that they do explain while they're there. Like, she, they check her teeth, right? You know, they do that thing where they pull them back. They pull back their jaws like that and they have a look, you know. And her teeth are fine. But they explain to us, you know, stuff like that. If if, if she was showing signs of, like, having a build-up of plaque, they'd be like, you know, you get these dental sticks, um, try those for a bit. They don't always work on some cats, but, you know, they're worth a try at least to make sure, you know, that... That way you'll know either way. But after that, if, if it does build up and become a problem, then we're going to have to do tooth cleanings. It's the sort of thing that, you know, they tell you while they're there examining the cat. And, and if they didn't tell you, but they gave you, like, some paper with it on, they're expecting you to read it and understand it. You shouldn't need it explained to you. You're a fucking adult. Like, see, Unbiased Fun in chat has said that's why they gave you the paper. That's, that's it. Now, after the vet appointment, during our day out, we went to the pet store. And we actually bought Jasper things. We could have bought him the dental treats. But we didn't know we needed to get them because the vet didn't fucking say anything. They gave you the paper. 
It's not their fault you waited until 8 o'clock to read it. Oh, God. Just fucking order some off Amazon anyway. Just fucking order some online. Get it delivered to you. I bet you can probably, like, do some grocery shop and put it in your basket. It'll be there in the pet aisle. And they'll bring it to you. The vet should have told me this. The vet should have told me this. The vet should have told me this. They gave you the paper to read. You then waited until 8 o'clock to read it. The first thing I do when I'm out of the vets... Check. Normally I'm there at the thing waiting because of, you know, often like booking a follow-up appointment anyway. So most of the time I stood there and they print it off and they give it to you. And I'm like, right, okay, I'll have a look at it. Okay, that's what they did. Okay, fair enough. They did that for that. That means that, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, um, next Wednesday. Is there anyone through there? It's not their fault you waited until like 8 o'clock to read it. And then he complains that they didn't tell him about certain stuff that he needed to know about his cat's health. After refusing to let them do a blood test. Because it cost. It cost $300. And he's like, I could have bought them sticks, them dentist sticks for the cat, if I'd have known. It's like, yeah, well, do you know what? You could have bought medicine if you'd have fucking known that your cat needed it. Because a blood test would have shown it. But you didn't let him do it, Phil, so now your cat might be ill and you don't know. And the only way you're going to find out is when he starts puking blood or pissing blood. <laughs> how fucking dare you? Like, how fucking dare you complain about this and the vet not telling you this when you're not letting them do their job and make sure that your cat is okay? How very fucking dare you? The vet didn't fucking say that at all. Now, after the vet appointment... But it does say it on the paper, right? ...our day out, we went to the pet store. And we actually bought Jasper things. We could have bought him the dental treats. But we didn't know we needed to get them because <laughs> the vet didn't fucking say anything. Okay? <laughs> but they gave you the papers that say the thing. So why do you need everything explicitly pointed out and spelled out for you? What the fuck is wrong with you? Literally, we went to the vet for an hour and a half. Oh, uh, they give you a paper and you're like, well, that's some kind of fucking paper. I don't care about it. And then you read it and it's like, well, that was actually important. What the fuck? They didn't tell me. Jasper is starting to show early signs of a little bit of dental plaque. Now it's early. What you can do is you can do a dental plaque. The most normal of things for a cat to have. Dental plaque. Okay. So dental plaque. Um... Like dental early treats, buy dental cat plan. dental treats and things, and it'll dental treats clean your teeth nicely. And as long as you do it regularly, it should be not be a problem at all. He should be good, all right. But he even says on there, some cats. It just shows, you know what? It just shows you that DSP is so un -pro proactive of anything that it need you need to be told by a fucking professional about everything. Now, after the vet appointment, during our day out, we went to the pet store. And we actually bought Jasper things. We could have bought him the dental treats. But we didn't know we needed to get them because the vet didn't fucking say anything. They gave you the fucking papers, you stupid fuck. Jesus Christ. And also, I'm sorry, weren't you just bitching a couple, like, what was it, not even two minutes ago? About how, oh, they held us up and we just wanted to get out of there and things like that. So, okay, maybe they realized, hey, these people want to get the fuck out of here because I'm sure they were making a big stink. I mean, trust me. I don't think these two were just sitting there stewing and being silent. I'm sure those fucking vets and all the pet and all the animals there wanted these two fucks out of there too. So they're like, whatever, just give them the documentation, get them the fuck out of here. It's your fault for not fucking reading it in time. Blaming the vets. Piss off. There's something on there that we absolutely should have known. The vet didn't tell us. It says Jasper is starting to show early signs of a little bit of dental plaque. You're an idiot. That's why they bang, said the bang, blood work. Bang, bang, bang. Son, that is such a normal, like, thing that animals get from, like, what they eat and what they chew. And, like, like it, it, it's it's like a normal, like, thing. Like, they tell you in the paperwork, oh, go get. It's like a recommendation. It's not like some yeah. dire thing that 
the cat will die if the the plaque is on. See, like they'll well, just—it's like a normal thing that's on the on the paperwork you'll get. Like, oh, maybe you should do this. Well, now, yeah, that's that's the thing, though. Again, that. an adult okay. would ask. Oh my bad, adult would ask, "How was the visit when you yeah. met, when you when you saw him?" Okay, so literally, we went to the vet for an hour and a half. Jasper was seen for five minutes. And literally, the vet told us none of the information that we should have known while we were there and expected us to just figure it out later by reading this giant stack of fucking paperwork that they gave us to go home with. See, look, look, again, a giant stack of paperwork. A giant stack of paperwork. I'll bet it was two pieces. I bet maybe there's a pamphlet in there as well. I don't know. But a giant stack of paperwork, I doubt that. I doubt that just as much as I doubt how long they were there for. And I doubt that as much as I doubt how long Jasper was examined for. And I doubt that as much as I doubt every fucking thing else about this. Because it's all come through an unreliable narrator like Phil. So, after that, we got home. We're like, we are not going back to this vet. <laughs> and it's a shame. Because we actually had a great experience with this vet last year. He's treating it like he's like, well, I'm not going back to PlayStation Plus. Now I've got Xbox Game Pass. I don't need to go back to the PlayStation. <laughs> this 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 offers me a better service. This is shit. I had bad customer service there, so I'm not going to that restaurant again. <laughs> this garage was awful. This mechanic was awful. They ripped me off, so I'm going to a different one. This vet was a dick to me. So instead, I'm going to go to different vets. Phil, you, you shouldn't fuck about with your pet's health. Again, your pet is dependent on you to make sure that it's healthy. This isn't like changing your mechanic. This isn't like changing where you get pizza from. This is your pet's health. This is not a thing you should be going full Karen mode over. This is the sort of thing that you should be paying more attention to. So maybe you'd understand certain things, like why they give you a list of stuff to read afterwards. So mad about this. After that, we got home. We're like, we are not going back to this vet. And it's a shame because One we bad actually appointment. had a great experience with this vet last year. We thought the vet was great. Now, now that... COVID was over and you're able to go into the exam rooms with your pet again. We had a okay, asshole. What happens when you go to this new vet? And then of course they're gonna say, Oh, they have they have they have, what where's their blood work record? Oh, they haven't had one. You haven't had blood work in four years, sir? No. Oh well, you should really get it. Oh no, you're just trying to upsell me. Like, when is it gonna fucking end? We thought the vet was great. Now, now that COVID was over and you're able to go into the exam rooms with your pet again, we had a great time. He had a great time. I have pictures on my phone. Of Jasper having a blast at the vet last year. I'm not even kidding. Let's see if I can find it. Right. So the picture's coming up now. Now, I get it. It's fun to take pictures of you and the cat at the vets. I do this as well. I try to make it look like we're having a conversation, right? Let me find mine. See, there's me and the cat at the vets. Let's try and get it to look like we're having a conversation. Because she's placid at the vets. She will just sit there. She doesn't belt it around the room. She just sort of like gives in to her fate. But that's not from the last visit because I didn't take a picture last visit. I was, you know, just there as a visit. It's not something I do every time. But if the vet's ever like, right, okay, wait here a minute. I just need to nip out and get something. I'll be like, right, okay, here we go. <laughs> but last time that I did, I didn't have the option. So, um, yeah, <laughs> the vet didn't leave me alone in the room with her for a bit. So yeah, it's it's yeah, it's a thing. But I, you know, I don't know why you you Phil of all people. I don't know why he's feeling incredibly comfortable doing this now. Um, he has this picture already saved on his computer, probably because we know what he's like about changing stuff with OBS and like updating things. So he's probably still got this saved from the last time he used it, but. Like, like, why would you bring it up? Why? What's the point? What's the point? Here, what's the point now? Show us your phone, Phil. Show us your phone. Here's Jasper at the vet last year when they let him into the exam room and he was chilling on the counter. He's having fun. 
he had a great time. You know, not in the carrier the whole time. He was chilling in the carrier. He had. He was chilling out there, out of the carrier. He had fun. Sorry, what? He was chilling and he had fun. Phil, going to the vets isn't a fun experience. The reason he bombed it about the place was because you just let him out of the fucking cage. He's looking for a new place to hide. Cats don't do well when being taken from one place to another. They like their own territory. They like to be comfortable in that. It's not a happy experience for them. Either way, like... I just don't know why you of all people with the history that you have of mobile phone related things would think that it's okay to do that now. There is no point to showing us that picture from last year, but for some reason you feel comfortable enough now holding your phone up to the screen. That is going to invite a lot of very warranted criticism of you now. That is going to invite a lot of people saying you need to show us something else. You of all people should not be okay showing your phone on screen. You just shouldn't. It's stupid. It's a stupid thing. You're a stupid person. You're an idiot for doing this. He, on top of that, DSP had pictures for proof that Jasper was having a blast last time. Did you see that? <laughs> Completely oh, yeah. He was in the party room. That was yeah. a few shots in. He was two was shots fun. deep. A lot of great entertainment. The chat was high on fentanyl. It was a good day. <laughs> and oddly enough, great, it looked though. like the exact same party he was having from his previous checkup. <laughs> yeah. 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 Jasper was trying to like get out a, of the cage. It's like <laughs> a gormless looking cat. It could be any cat in the world. <laughs> yeah, <isn't> yeah. It? <laughs> That's why he wanted to get out of the thing so bad because he's ready for that fucking party again. He's like, damn, oh. I need another hit. I cannot wait to get in there. What the I'll tell fuck? you though, man, like if don't do like... too much fentanyl, Jasper, <laughs> kill Coolio. <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, dude. <laughs> so you stick to the ant poison. It's fine. Yeah, <laughs> ant poison is just a little bit of a hit. That's all you need. That gives yeah. you a nice buzz, that Jasper. You know this. All right, go ahead, Sam. I'm sorry. I was just going to say, like, if, if I was Phil, I'd have a hell of a story to tell every month because I have to take my cat to the vets monthly now to, mm -hmm. to get shots and things like that he's, he's getting on a bit and um he throws up it, basically we we have stuff from both ends every every time he gets in the car so yeah i'd oh, have, a, God, I'd, have yeah. A, I'd have a sam's day off for you every month but yeah you don't need <laughs> to know this <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That photo, the photo. By the way, Bob Starsky, big up, saying the photo of Jasper in the vet was old. Yes, mm. it was definitely old too. He's like, just yeah. remember this. Look at last year; it was so great. Look and at the, this photograph. What? Every time I see it, <laughs> makes me laugh. <laughs> like, why? I mean, like, I, you know, you sometimes see you take a picture of him while you're at the vets. You know, I try to like because she's normally sat completely still, so I'll try and mimic it a little like we're having a conversation or something. But yeah, yeah. Why would you like if it's not from that day? Why bring it up? He, no, he's obsessed like, with showing his phone right now. That is without a question. He's getting very doubt. comfortable with it. Yes, he used yeah. to go years without showing his phone for obvious reasons, because for fear. Now, once a week, twice mm. a week, we're seeing these phone shows. Yeah, he's not even things... doing the, the yeah. weird <laughs> covering thing the notification. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. so intentional. It's so stupid. Like I'm, I'm just I'm natural showing my phone, guys. You go check it out. Whatever. I mean, it's like I care. Whatever. It's like mm. so obvious. Like come on. Well, he's man. admitted to on? like playing um, WWE champion. So. Yeah, so I guess Casually. less hide. <laughs> Casually. <Yeah. laughs> we actually had a great experience with this vet last year. We thought the vet was great. Now, now that COVID was over and you're able to go into the exam rooms with your pet again, we had a great time. He had a great time. I have pictures on my phone of Jasper having a blast at the vet last year. I'm not even kidding. I just had to find it. I'm go all the way back here. Hold on. Oh, he's going to fucking shoot us. Wow. Almost. It's Christmas. <laughs> here it is. Here's Jasper at the vet last year when they let him into the exam room and he was chilling on the counter. He's having fun. He had a great time. You know, not in the camera. Cat was going to go after that mouse. But um, that's the way I tell him. <laughs> oh, I got to pay Hogan a little bit. You know, oh, I got a nice. Oh, yeah, he's doing a quick pull. <laughs> yeah, nice pull. Ah, nice pull. Six star there Hogan. <laughs> there it is. Shows a Hogan. Oh, shit. Picture. Here's Jasper at the vet last year when they let Jesus, bro, when are you gonna update the phone player? Bang, bang, bang. Good bang, God, bang. get the new joint, B. Like, come on, son. The funny thing is, he bitched and complained that people were trying to get information off of his phone. Yeah. Now, showing up. Look at my pussy. Isn't it cute? <laughs>
<laughs> like nobody well, cares, to Phil. To the exam room, and he was chilling on the counter. He's having fun. He had a great time. Doesn't look like it. That doesn't look like fun. You know, Looking at your cat's eyes is I'm that scared. Was Hell. August of we had a great time. He had a great time. I have pictures on my phone. What? Of Jasper having a blast at the vet last year. What? I'm not even kidding. Let's see if I can find it. What? He get away. Well, what? Back here. Hold on. He's got He's got pictures of Jasper having a blast. I want to see that. Does he have a party hat on? Almost. It's crazy. Does he have like one of those uh necklaces? Like Hawaiian yes. necklaces? Here's Jasper oh. at the vet last year. Okay, I'll admit it. <laughs> I found the called them. Told them I was Phil and I have no clue how cats work. I ask for the works. Treat me like Firestone. Obviously, duty is behind all of this. Obviously. He got exposed by himself. I guess he, he admitted it. But look. Look, you guys. This is Jasper having an amazing time at the vet. Can't you tell by the generic cat photo of him somewhere he's having an amazing time the exam room and he was chilling on the counter he's he was fun. chilling he was having fun he had a great time you know not in the carrier the whole time this is like totally unironic he pulled out this photo and showed it to the camera to convince you that jasper was having a great time this is dark side phil everybody a a applause this is amazing i cannot believe this actually happening Oh, Jasper having a blast at the vet last year. I'm not even kidding. Oh, now he's going to pull out the pictures. A blast at the vet. Oh, oh right. bless you. his phone, guys. Ancient ass iPhone. He can only show it for Papa oh, John's and nice. fucking pizza he made and phone call with the is. fucking plumber, but can't do it for WWE Champions. Here's Jasper at the vet last Man, this is the most awkward. This is the most boomer thing I've ever seen. You see half of ring light. That was August of 2022. This year, it's like a completely different fucking place. Like, you know, what happens to these places? How is it that in a year, they completely changed their entire process? Why did everyone else around us get to go into a room with their pet, but not us? Oh, God. That is not them changing their process. You just have to wait longer. The fucking vets. Jesus. We've all been through this. This is a normal thing. This is not some huge fucking drama. Why were we rushed in and out for five-minute exam, but kept there for 90 minutes? Why was the vet late? Because that's the truth. But the problem is, I think, here's what I really think happened. The vet is is basically, we got the worst vet in the place, right? <laughs> He's always something personal with him. It's not like we got the worst vet. Like, you know. No. <laughs> Sometimes your vets are busier than normal. Sometimes they have like a lot more to do than they anticipate. Sometimes they get like emergencies. Sometimes an animal is actually like sicker than they thought. Sometimes an animal is healthier than they thought and they just need to like check it up and then once over and it's fine. <sighs> Sometimes you get seen quickly and sometimes you have to wait. It's just a fact of life. It's just reality. Look at the complaining we're going through. And I love this. He said about the nurse that helped him. Her hair was wet, right? So yeah, her hair was clothes. wet. Her clothes. So that means to Phil that she was late for work that day. Lazy. She, de she decided at the end her to, to get her comb wet and then brush her hair. Because she's With too water. late, there's nothing else she can do, right? So this, she must have done that. We all know Which that. Which was like one of Phil's classic moves for his hair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, until like last week, by the way. I just think, uh, I just think they have a pool so they could hang out with all the chihuahuas in there, and she just jumped in the pool with them because the, the chihuahuas <laughs> were having so much fun. <laughs> yeah, that's where she was. We solved it. She was in the party room. She was the entertainment yeah. for the chihuahuas. She See, that shit of... is some of my favorite, Phil. I love his theory crafting. When he just starts talking yeah. so definitively about shit that never happened, that's yeah. actually the it was. We were talking the other day about the things that set you off. The things that get me hype and get me to drop what I'm doing and listen in is when he starts theory crafting. Fuck. <laughs> Why were we rushed in and out for five minute exam, but kept there for 90 minutes? <laughs> I have a funny thought. What? I think the person, the, the vet was like, I don't want him anywhere near near me. He's like, why? Did you know he jerked off on May 1st, 2016? <laughs>
Yo, <laughs> imagine if imagine going to the vet and the vet be like, "It's the guy from the be- <laughs> from the behind the desk." I would feel so embarrassed if I was Cat that my husband is known for cranking it off. Oh no, if that was the case, she'd be crying. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, for sure. She cries about everything. She's downstairs crying for sure. Like that's the, and that's a funny joke. Like imagine that like he actually gets a chance. He finally gets lucky with her, and he's about to do the face like he did on May first. <laughs> oh, imagine that! And then she like pushes him off, and he ru- she runs to the back downstairs to cry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not the cry! Oh no, not the cry! Why was Fuck the vet late? God damn, because that's true. They were already late for work, so we had to wait extra just for the vet to show up. And then when they showed up, it was a rush job. Oh, he's just here for his yearly exam. I right, get him in quick. Let's do this fast. Do, 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 do. Okay, we're done. On to the next. But checkups are fast things. They're normally quite quick to give a cat a once-over physical exam. To check his like heart rate and its eyes and everything. It, it's normally quite a quick thing. It's a simple thing. There's only so many things that they need to check physically from the outside. If there's more serious issues that they need to check, that's when they start taking blood and urine samples. It's quite a quick thing. Well, they're still here. Oh, shit, I gotta go out there and talk to them. Oh, man. Oh, and I gotta do my hair. And runs out in the sweat clothes. Hey, everyone. So just so you know, by the way, let's upsell on a $300 blood test. Fuck, there it is. There it is. I thought we dealt with it. There it is. You're not being upsold. They're recommending, Phil. They're recommending. They're recommending that you do this test because it's the way that they check certain things are okay with your cat. They're not upselling you at all. This isn't a, 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 a transaction where um, financial gain or money or profit is is, is the, the primary driver. This is concern for your cat's health. They would do it if it was a tenner. They would do it if it was 10 grand. They would recommend that you have this thing done because it's how they check that your cat is okay. There's only so much you can learn from a physical exam. For other things, you need to check the blood. And as your cat gets older... The more of those things they need to check. See, like, every time I get angry at this, I just want to go and, like, like, just spend time with her and you know, just have to, like, just lie with me and purr the stroker, you know? Sometimes it's just... It's just nice to have your cat there. Just, you know, a few minutes of falling asleep. And then you can like, feel them twitching every now and then. Oh, she does that thing where she'll, like, wake up and immediately let out a cry. Like, she's like, oh, God, I'm awake. <laughs> but, yeah. She's she's asleep. I don't want to bother her. I want to get through this. Because it's really, like, it's really affecting me when it's Jasper, when it's the cat. You you know, it just feels more serious. I don't know what else to say. And let's try to scam the fucking poor people out of 300 bucks that we definitely don't need to spend. Oh, he called it a scam. Oh, we actually called it a scam. Oh my God, why did no one tell me that? I thought they were like, like joking or something. Like, you know, saying he was portraying it as a scam. I didn't think he'd actually called it a scam. He called it a fucking scam. Phil, it is a it is a thing that vets do. It is a process that vets do. It is a treatment. It is, it is a test that vets do to make sure that your cat is okay. It's not a scam. It's an expensive test, but it's a test nonetheless. Right. And it's expensive because fucking pet care is expensive. Right. Vet bills are expensive, especially if you don't have insurance. And I'm guessing that you don't. And I'm guessing you might even go to mum and dad for this. But either way, it's not a fucking scam for the vet to want to check your cat's bloods. But when he calls like this vital process, this this like key part of a checkup, this this crucial way of monitoring your cat's health. But he called it a scam. It just shows me that he doesn't know anything about what it is to own a pet. 
because he doesn't see it as part of the process of checking up. He doesn't understand that it's how you keep an eye on certain things. He just sees it as a sell-up. It's a markup. It's an extra 300 quid for them. They're probably rubbing their hands together in the back and smiling. I'm like, oh, here's another mark we can con. And I know that because he just fucking said so. Right then. Because he's a fucking idiot. And he doesn't understand the responsibility that he has being a cat owner. And he's going to kill that cat one day. That cat is going to die young of something preventable. Because he's a fucking idiot. But they're being idiots about it. <laughs> no, they're not, Phil. No, they're not. You're the one being the idiot here. Not them. See, this, this is what I call the confidence of the ignorant. He has no idea what he's wrong about. But he feels that he's right. He feels that he knows right in this situation. He can see through it. He's clever. He's smarter than them. He can see that they're trying to scam him. So they're recommending doing this thing. Even though his cat isn't sick. So he doesn't understand why. He doesn't know how he's wrong about this. So instead he just blundered forward. Confidently. Arrogantly. Always assuming that he's in the right. Never considering why he might be wrong. Can I consider other options, other alternatives, other possibilities that people might know more than him? That vet will have been telling him, no, we really recommend that you have these blood work done because we need to check for this, this and this. We need to check for stuff like feline leukemia. We need to check for like feline AIDS, feline diabetes. We need to check for things that you can't get out of just like a physical once over. And he's like, nah, it's a scam, fuck it. I'm not buying into this. No, no, I refuse. No, he doesn't need it. He's fine. But you don't know he's not fine. You don't know. The confidence of the ignorant. He just doesn't know that he's wrong. He can't conceive of how. So he just assumes he's right and carries on. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I made, like, no money on this, this, this visit today, so let's try to upsell them to make profit. <gasps> oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh. I mean, I mean... Like, I get, especially in America, with their healthcare, there's a lot of, um, if, like, if you go to the doctor for something and they try to, like, pressure you into trying to take something else, I get that that's how that works over there. But this is something so basic, a medical process, that I don't grasp how you can think it's a scam. Unless you don't fully understand what's going on. You don't understand why they would take that. Your cat isn't sick, so why would they take that, you know? He just doesn't know. He is unprepared to be an, a cat owner. He is ill-equipped. His estimation of his skills and abilities is far outstripped by the actual demands of pet ownership. There is a lot of, like, extraneous information around, like, keeping a cat healthy that he's not considered. It's true for any pet. He's just unequipped for them. Do you remember? Do you remember when he was like, "Yeah, fish will be easy," you know? Fish will be fine. I'll just buy like the more expensive one so that it's like its own ecosystem. The skill scholar asked, "Would we ever get a fish tank?" Maybe we would. You know, here's the thing. Fish are great. Fish are very relaxing pets to have because a fish tank essentially all you're doing you're setting it up, you're feeding, and periodically you're draining and cleaning. Right? There's not that much to it, but. It could create a very relaxing atmosphere for you. A nice ambient noise of water running, seeing the fish move around and look cool and everything. That's very nice. However, unlike other pets, you can't play with your fish, right? Like with Jasper, he comes over, we play with him with toys, he runs around the house, we give him treats, he wants to snuggle, he wants his pets. He's a very personable, loving creature to have as a life companion, you understand? While... A fish is a fish. It's just going to sit in the thing, swim back and forth, 
and eat food. And that's literally what it does. Like, that's it, right? I mean, you could spruce up a fish tank a bit. For example, if I were to get a fish tank, I would like to get one of those fish tanks that you get those little cleaner shrimp guys. Those things are cool. It's a shrimp that actually cleans the tank to help with the ecosystem so you don't have to worry as much about cleaning the tank because those shrimp do the job for you, right? I really like that about it. So I would like to have maybe fish with cleaner shrimp and other things so that way it's a different ecosystem, more interesting to watch them do their jobs every day rather than it just be a couple fish swimming around. So something like that. <clears throat> um, Yeah, something like that would be pretty cool, I feel. But uh, I don't know. One day, would I like it? Yes. I think I would enjoy a fish tank at some point in my life. What I have to do is research. If you remember, many years ago... We used to have someone who came on these streams who was actually a, a t uh, an aquarium guy, like a fish guy. And he hasn't been around in a while, but he used to come on and give us advice. And he had told me many years ago on a stream, he says, if you're ever interested in doing it, it's going to cost a lot of money, right? Like you can set up uh, an aquarium that costs like $800 to $1,000. But if you buy the right components and you set it up right at first, it could be a very easy aquarium to maintain. As long as you're doing it properly. it was His name was Coral Guy, by the way. Coral Guy. Um, as long as you do it properly up front. And you're going to pay a lot of money up front. But the upfront investment is worth it. Because then you have a nice tank. And it doesn't take a lot of work to maintain. So that's probably what I would want to do. I would want to spend the money up front to get the better stuff. And that way it's not insane amounts of money constantly draining and cleaning and all of that. Instead it's more simple to do. Right? So there you go. He doesn't know. He doesn't know what it is to keep a pet. He can't conceive of them as beings, as individuals, as things, as animals. He can't conceive of them as like having their own wants and needs. He can't conceive of anything having its own wants and needs other than how will it serve me. Everything exists to serve him. Everything exists to serve a role for him. And that's where we are with Jasper. That's why he can't understand why the vet might want to check Jasper's blood work. Because he's like, but he doesn't need that. Yes, he does. You just don't understand why. You don't care to understand why. You've never looked into it. You've never actually sat down and read the fucking paper. And he will continue to insist that he's right. Oh, and I gotta do my hair. It runs out in the sweat clothes. Hey, everyone. So just so you know, by the way, let's... In what world does what you're saying make any fucking sense? Like, do you hear yourself? Because I don't think you do. ...sell on a $300 blood test. And let's try to scam the fucking poor people out of 300 bucks that we definitely don't need to spend, but they're being idiots about it. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I made, like, no money on this, 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 this shit off. Today, I'm not kidding. So let's try to upsell them to make profit. Right? It's exactly what it was. A three hundred dollar fucking blood test, you know? Like, are you out of your mind? So I, I, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't, I can't. Game over, yeah! I'm sorry, folks. This is in. Oh, this is just fucking infuriating. <laughs> right? It's exactly what it was. A three hundred dollar fucking blood test, you know? Like, are you out of your mind? So, we're not going back. We're done, you know? And it's sad because, like I said, last year it was completely different. I felt like it was a great vet a year ago. And then somehow this all changed. I can guarantee you, he's any other vet, same price. These are expensive tests. Pet care is expensive. Keeping a pet healthy is expensive. <sighs> Did he really think it would just be a case of... I'll make sure there's food in its bowl and it'll wander in here every now and then. And that's it. He really does, doesn't he? He thinks it demanding attention. He thinks Jasper wanting attention is Jasper acting up. Jasper's been up more. He's been up earlier. He's been meowing constantly. He wants attention. He wants your fucking attention, Phil. He's a pet. He's not just an inanimate thing. He, he He's a pet. He's a social creature. Cats would have litters. They would play with their brothers and sisters. They, they, they are social things. I know they like wander off and like to curl up on their own sometimes, but they're still social things. They like to play, you know. I'll see you as a bigger cat. You know, she sees me as a bigger cat. They'll, they'll want affection and attention from you.
He doesn't see that. He doesn't understand that. He doesn't think it's part of his responsibility as a pet owner. He doesn't understand that Jasper has wider needs and he has wider care responsibilities for it. It's more than just making sure it's got food and water and a place to sleep. He can't conceive of that and he probably thought it would be that forever until he got really old and then one day, you know, he'd just fall asleep and never wake up, I guess. He couldn't, he can't conceive of it. He can't conceive of like what it's like now. When she was younger, when she was younger, I never thought about it. I never thought about what it was like to be older. I only thought about, like, is she okay now? She's fine now, great. I never thought about when she's older and she needs care. When she's older and she needs medicine. Until I got there. He's not prepared. He can't do it. He's not up for the responsibility of owning a pet. He's just not. That's that's what this all boils down to. He just shouldn't have a pet. They definitely don't need to spend, but they're being idiots about it. You know what oh. I mean? Like, oh, I made like no money on this 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 visit today, so let's try to upsell them to make profit. Oh my right? god! Like, what no, the not, fuck? <laughs> oh my! Not everybody is like you. This dog. Not everything can be haggled and and and, and talked down, son. This Bro, isn't. It's a. It's not the flea market, B. It's yeah. the doctor, vet. What? It's a medical office, son. It's just the prices. It's just yeah, the prices. It's, they're not trying to upsell you. Yeah, right. Like, the they're, son, try, they, they're trying to say, hey, what, did he ever have his blood work done? And if you didn't know, they could go over it with you. They would actually do that shit. So immediately Phil's lying because they would go into, uh, I was going to say cat's medical history because, yeah, <laughs> asylum. And then they would look at, <laughs> look at medical history and they'll say, okay, he did have blood work. And they'll say, when the blood work was done because mm -hmm. he claims that they were adopted he was adopted from a shelter immediately he would have the medical history Perhaps. and the vet will have the medical history so they wouldn't be trying to upsell him the blood work uh, they're just gonna charge you what they would charge <laughs> everybody else brother he, Not he wants he wants the youtuber to <laughs> yeah right don't you know i am 15 years of content creation you can't give me like a you discount what? i have that one I'm video about home front the revolution has almost 10 million views <laughs> fucking blood test oh now i gotta do my hair it runs out in the sweat goes hey everyone so just so you know by the way let's upsell on a 300 dollars blood test and let's try to scam the fucking poor people out of 300 bucks that we definitely don't need to spend but they're being idiots about it what you know what i mean like oh i made like no money on this, this this visit today so let's try to upsell them to make profit right it's exactly what it was a 300 dollars fucking blood test you know, are you out of your mind? So, we're not going back. We're done. You know? I'm telling you, I'm telling it, I'm calling it now. If that cat falls sick within the next ever, not ever, sorry, the next year, within the next year, if Jasper falls ill and it's something that could have been fucking picked up by a fucking blood test, he was too fucking cheap to get because he doesn't want to spend that fucking money on his fucking cat, like made him $2,000 when he fucking revealed him, by the way. That. That is definitely going to fucking be on Phil. Phil has told his audience that cat's been fucking thrown up and being sucking not shit. Just for attention, that does not sound like normal fucking cat behaviour to me. And he's going to fucking audacity to fucking complain about the vets trying to fucking charge him for fucking shit they could fucking reveal. If, if, he's, if he actually isn't fucking full perfect health or not, because the, sto the stories this Phil spins, this, 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 the, the yarn that Phil's spinning to his audience is that this fucking cat has been sick sometimes. This cat has been having problems sometimes. This cat has been going crazy sometimes, you know what I mean? It's like, it's acting differently and a bit irregular with his fucking behaviour. And, and yet he's not fucking willing to fucking get it looked into. He's just assuming, you know, I just fucking get his usual fucking routine shit done. Great, I don't need to go back for fucking three more years. This cat, this, I'm telling you, Jasper's not going to fucking see a vet for another three years. Phil's going to assume the cat's just fucking being annoying to get attention, and then the cat met some somehow that cat. It's on Phil. Um, you know, in the, in the last year, and now it's a completely different business. Like, I would never go back there after that. That was such a horrible experience, right? So... Yeah, so that's it. So anyway, that's... That was our oh. oh, who went then? Who went then? Cheese and Indian incoming bag, I feel it. Yeah, so that's it. So anyway, that's... That was our experience. And it sucked because, you know, this is something that we were hoping would be under an hour. All in all, with that taking so long and the driving, it was over two hours out of our day, and now we were way behind. So we didn't actually get to do everything that we were supposed to do or wanted to do yesterday. Well, he's, he's more bothered about that. 
He's more bothered about the fact that he had to wait. He's more bothered about the fact that it was two hours out of his day when he had plans. Him who complained about not being fitted in when he turned up early is complaining that, that this has now disrupted the other plans that he had. It only matters if it affects him. The fucking narcissist of him. The fucking narcissism deep down inside the central core of Phil. It only matters if it affects me. And that affected me. That cost me time. That fucked up my schedule. And they were going to charge me extra money. So fuck them. It's only because it affected him. He doesn't give a shit about Jasper's health. Otherwise, he wouldn't have seen that as a disruption. He might have complained, oh yeah, we're there a while, you know, but you know, fuck, it's what happens, isn't it? But he would have paid the money. He would have paid for that checkup. He would have understood why that checkup was being done and he would have happily paid for it. He does not give a fuck about Jasper or his health because he cannot conceive of that responsibility. He does not understand how it's on him. So, instead, it becomes how it affected him and disrupted his day. Oh, yeah, and poor Jasper was in the carrier for a bit as well. Yeah. See, unbiased fan. Blood test every few years pretty important. I can tell you about early kidney issues. It's one of the things to check with her. Kidney, liver, you know, all sorts of stuff. David H., sometimes vets have, have pet emergencies they also have to deal with. I've had to wait for vets because of vets dealing with pet, pet emergencies. I have as well. It happens. It happens to us all. Rabbit Sloth. Ever thought that maybe the vet had to clean up, change clothes due to something happening with another pet another patient it, it happens you know <laughs> all of these reasons all of these experiences all of these other people going dude this is normal and somebody going dude you should have had that blood test it's pretty important and he, he he's just no no i want to see if he even addresses any of these i doubt he will but even so ultimately this all comes down to how it's affected him because he didn't give a fuck about jasper's health really he's not aware of the responsibility of it to that extent it's all about just him two hours out of his day you know we got maybe half the stuff that we wanted to do we had a lot of things lined up and we're like well we just we're too tired we don't have time to do it oh my god see there you go oh we're too tired we're too tired well you still could have done it then it's your fault ultimately you still had the time to go and do these things which i just i still don't understand why you can't do them at one place you have to go you know to pet store to get the pet stuff even though you're at the vets do they not like Okay, fine, they might not have a store next to them, so, you know, you have to go shopping. Why don't you get the pet food from the supermarket you get your shopping from? Do they not do pet food and stuff? Do they not have a pet aisle? Like most supermarkets do? Is that not good enough for you? It's like, Jasper deserves better food than that? Oh, he only eats the fanciest stuff, does Jasper. It's all about him. It's all about him, even though he's ultimately the one that goes, right, oh, I'm too knackered now, fuck it, I'm going home. Didn't get to do some of the stuff that I wanted to do today, but I'm the one deciding that I'm not going to go home rather than actually going and doing it. You know? You can't account for that. It's fucking amazing that you can't account for something like a delay at the hospital or the garage or wherever you might end up waiting for something. You know? Like a vet's. All in all, with that taking so long and the driving, it was over two hours out of our day. Oh, and come on. Behind. Wait, what? Two hours? We didn't actually get to do it. That's super suspicious and overblown. There's no way he stayed there two hours. Thing that we were supposed to do or wanted to do yesterday. You know, and he couldn't do a lot of things. That we wanted Maybe get up on time? To do. We had a lot of things lined up and we're like, well, we just, we're too tired. We don't have time to do it. He's too tired. That was the first excuse. So you actually had time to do it, but you just decided not to because you're too tired. Well... Here's the thing, mature man, Mr. Maturity, Mr. Uh, household op Operator. If you leave all your errands for a single day of the week, of course you're going to be fucking tired. Of course you're not going to have time for anything else because you left all of your errands for one day a week. What are you going to do? Mr. Ryan? Genius. Yeah. We had a lot of things lined up and we're like, well, we just, we're too tired. We don't have time to do it. What are you going to do? <laughs> right? Oh and my God. Too tired. Too tired. Too tired. Um, too tired, so I went to sleep. I we you know, door dashed McDonald's and went to sleep. This guy said he was too tired from going to a store, going to the vet, and going home today. Up at seven thirty, uh, out the door with the kids. So nine, we rode around the block. Well, not the block. We went around the whole neighborhood that we live in. Uh, we were on the bikes for about like an hour and a half. Then went to the playground. Then rode our bikes back home. Had lunch. 
Then by like three, four, I think the kids started falling asleep, woke up. My girl got home from work. She took, I, I was cleaning the house while she took them out to, uh, I think she took them out to ice cream and she took them to the playground as well. And now I'm doing this. We've been here for almost three hours. Shut up about being tired. Stop talking to me. <laughs> Stop yeah, talking. Please. You have the most simplest life, dog. Stop talking. What are you going to do, right? <clears throat> so it is what it is. Um, you know, it's, it's pretty sad. It's pretty sad that that's how we were treated uh, after having such a great experience last year. Out here, there's a lot of competition for pet health care. There's a ton of vets. There's a ton of these places. So why they think they're going to do well in an environment when you have direct competition literally right around the corner, uh, I don't get. Maybe they're not seeing it as competition because the point of the vets is to make sure that the animals are all right. So as long as somebody's around to see the animals, it's ultimately fine that there's multiple vets. There's multiple vets near me. They're not all like, oh yeah, fuck them at that vets. There's been times when they've sort of like said, we can get it from that vets if you want. You know, we've not got this here, but we can get it from that vet. It, it's, it's a thing. It's a thing. Sometimes that happens, you know. But if there's multiple vets, shut the fuck up moaning and just go to another vet. You had a bad experience at one. Great fucking hell. Everybody has. Everybody has to wait at the vets every now and then. Everybody has to wait at the doctors every now and then. Everybody has to wait at the fucking bank or the DMV or the fucking garage or wherever. Sometimes appointments overrun. Sometimes you have to wait a bit longer. It's just part of life, Phil, for fuck's sake. The most important thing is that you don't give a fuck about your pet's health because otherwise you would have had that blood test done. Never fucking forget that. Out here, there's a lot of competition for pet health care. There's a ton of vets. A lot of competition. How do you know? Are you in the health care business? Dude, dude. It's a business degree. I, I, I hate when he says that. He makes it sound like it's some kind of restaurant that people go to their pet and go like, there's a lot of pet competitions here, man. People are getting fucking checked out everywhere. Then go to them for your fucking blood work if they're going to offer $100 cheaper or some shit. He wants to sound professional. Like, in this market, there are X. There's no reason to put it that way unless you're a haughty son of a bitch. There's a veterinarian place literally a few blocks away from me. Does that mean that there, that where I live is a, is a hotbed for vets? But, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens uh, moving forward. Hopefully, uh, we find a better one, you know. The ex moda says, do you ever thought to ask them why the visit went like that? Yeah, it's called customer feedback, which you're supposed to give after your visit. Oh, we're going to give it to them. Don't, don't, don't get me wrong. No, they didn't ask about customer feedback. They asked you, did you ask them? Not about customer feedback. This isn't about you having a moan and your entitled whinge. They want to know why you were there at that time, not saying. Did you, face to face with the vet, say, excuse me, why was our visit so bad? Why did we have to wait so long? Why has this taken so long? Why are you doing... No, he wouldn't have done because he's a coward who crumbles in the face of conflict. He cannot handle conflict. He, his, his conflict management skills are, are terrible because he's so bad at socialising. So I guarantee you, he was like, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. It's been lovely. It's been great today. Thank you. Thank you. I'll bet he was completely compliant. It's either that or he had a massive moan and that's why they didn't let him in. But either way, he can't handle that conflict. So he's dead to all of them. Fuck you. I'm going to another vet's. I'm going to leave you a nasty email. <gasps> I want to read that email. ALT, if you could get that email on the Dent Sea Scrolls. I know it's not quite past Phil, but holy shit. That would be an amazing email to read. There's no reason. We're going to give them the feedback that they deserve. And they're going to understand why we're not ever going there ever again. After being treated like that. You know? The point is, it doesn't matter why. The fact that it happened is bad enough. I don't care. Oh, it was an extenuating circumstance. Well, I don't want to be your extenuating circumstance. Bro, 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 that's not what extenuating circumstance means. You wouldn't be their extenuating circumstance. There's an extenuating circumstance keeping them from seeing you. You're not the extenuating circumstance. You're not an excuse. You're not a reason. You're, you're being affected by their extenuating circumstance. If they had another appointment, if they had another procedure, maybe they were in a fucking operating room trying to save a dog's life or something. And that's why they were late. <sighs> The ex moda says, do you ever thought to ask them why the visit went like that? Yeah, it's called customer feedback, which you're supposed to give after your visit. Oh, we're going to give it to them. Don't, don't. Oh, he's going to give it to them. No we're going to give them the feedback that they deserve. And they're going to understand why we're not ever going there ever again. After okay, but you're going to give it to them in an online form that nobody's really going to care about. Like that, you know? Yeah, you're not actually. Dude, you're not as tough as you make yourself 
seem like you are. You're not actually going to tell this to a person. You're going to leave a, a one-star review that is, is just going to be forgotten about for eternity. The point is, it doesn't matter why. He sounds like he's about to end their whole career. I'm going to expose them and never go back again. They just lost a customer. I want to go somewhere where I'm treated like everyone else. Not that we're the ones sitting in the waiting room for 90 minutes while everyone else got to go into a room. And we just sit here with our cat and our carrier for that time. <laughs> is, that, is that a comment from Kozo? How will they ever recover? <laughs> That's brilliant, that. <laughs> oh, oh, you up? Yeah. Come here, before you go. Come on, it's, about, it's a video about cats. I'm sorry. Come here. Come here. Hello. Say hello. Do you see that guy? She's not talking. Oh. Good girl. Right, she'll have gone out to use the litter tray. She's probably only having a wee and then she'll meow for a bit out there and I'll let her back in. It's just what happens because, you know, I've got a cat. I'm a pet owner. I keep an eye on it. Sitting in the waiting room for 90 minutes while everyone else got to go into a room and we just sit here with our cat and our carrier for that time. Man, he is so mad that Jasper couldn't get out of the carrier and fuck up that room. He's mad that others got to go first before him, even though he was early. And you don't do anything, and you want you want to upsell me on a three hundred fifty dollar blood test. Oh, oh, I can't forgive. I, I can't forgive him for calling it an upsell. I really can't. It's not like you're being offered an extended warranty on like your iPhone or something. This is an actual way the vet actually checks your cat is actually okay. Now get the fuck out of here. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, that's that. And, uh, you know, they'll get our feedback. <laughs> Sorry, there's, a, there's another comment uh, from Creatine User. Do you wonder why people call you a Karen? This is why. I can't think of, like, a, a, a better way to put it than that. And it is what it is. It sucked. It sucks to even have to talk about it. But, you know, something to vent about, something to tell you, you know what happened on my day off, that's what happened on my day off. There you go. It was something to vent about. He had to have a moan. That's all this was. He just had to have a moan. He can't just have had a fine day off where, you know, he went to the shops and it was fine. And then he came back home and it was fine. And then he ordered food and it was fine. He had to have a moan. He had to have something go wrong. Unfortunately... He had to wait a bit longer at the vets. So that became the thing. And while he was there, for reasons he doesn't understand, the vet recommended that he have his cat's blood test done and told him that this was expensive, you know? But we really recommend you do it because it's how we check for certain things that you can't get from a physical. And he saw that as upselling. <sighs> he had to have a moan. That's, that's what it was. He had to have drama. He has to have drama. He has to be the focus of some sort of drama. If it's not someone fucking about in the shop or someone getting his fucking delivery wrong, it's the vet taking too long. He had to have a moan. That's what it was. He needs the drama. He just wanted something to go wrong so that he could vent. Because he's frustrated. And he doesn't quite know why he's frustrated. He knows deep down, but he doesn't want to admit it. So instead he has to project it outwards. He has to have something else to be frustrated about. Unfortunately, the world likes to give him a lot to be frustrated about because he's the sort of person who can pick the tiniest little thing and blow it up into a huge drama deal to make it something that he can be frustrated about and vent about later. Because that way, you don't have to look inwards at why your life is so shit and why you are feeling so insecure and so alone. Instead, you can project all your frustrations with the world externally. And on this day, rather than have... Just a regular day where he goes and does the shop again, it's fine. And he comes back home and everything's fine. And the delivery driver turns up and it's fine. Instead of that, he had to wait a bit at the vets. So that became a huge thing. And that was like, yep, great. I've got something to moan about now. I can blow this up into a huge deal on my stream. But while he was there waiting and they were telling you, hey, we've done this with Jasper. Um, we really recommend that you do this blood test. He caught that. And he was like, great, they're upselling me something. Because they have to tell you, this is how much it's going to cost. 
Because obviously, they're going to tell you how much it's going to cost. You're paying for it. So you need to know how much it's going to cost. And you also need to know, like, you know, can I claim that on my insurance or am I not covered for that? You know, there's a couple of financial reasons involved in these tests and these checkups and appointments and things. So they have to discuss them with you. And rather than seeing it as them telling him, you need to check up on your cat. So, you know, we do blood work and it costs this much. He sees it as upselling. Like, like, like he's getting extended warranty on his iPhone or something. You know? Instead of it being this actual test that the vets will use to make sure your cat is properly okay because you can't get everything from a fucking physical... He saw it as upselling. And he's like, right, there we go. That's my drama sorted. I've got something to vent about now. And by the time he gets home, and it's the next day, and he's on his stream, it's become this. I'm so smart that I saw them trying to upsell me something like a mark. They must have thought, uh, we've got one here. We can get some cash out of him. But no, I'm too smart for them. Why do you need to do this test? My cat's not sick. Fuck you. I'm not buying it. And then he walks out of the vets. <laughs> Instead of seeing it as a necessary part of a checkup because your cat is getting older and you want to make sure that everything's okay because you can't check its white blood cell count by giving it a fucking once-over physically. You just... It, it, the, the fucking confidence of the ignorant. I swear to God, man. I wish I could live half my life being as sure of things as he is of this. But he can't. He, 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 he can't. He can't just have a quiet day. He needs drama. Because it's all he's got. He's got nothing else in his life. So he needs to make everything drama. He needs to perpetuate this. He needs to perpetuate this cycle of people talking about this. I'm fucking good for this point. Fucking good for once. I hope that people press him on it. I hope that people fucking hold his feet to the flames. I hope they're like, Phil, this is bad. You are a bad pet owner for this. You are putting your cat's health at risk by not checking up on it. There's stuff that you can catch early through blood tests. It is a thing that you should have done. And you are an irresponsible pet owner. For not doing it. I hope people call him on it. It's going to be fun hunting for clips by I did to Steve. It's the 60 frames. He never did this before PS5. Okay. All right. Let's talk about today. Let's talk about the schedule. Okay. <clears throat> so. Someone literally just said the entitlement. Wow. You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking they're fucking well is the expectation they're like excuse me they're going in ahead of me where's my service <laughs> there we go the fucking entitlement thinking you can come in yeah good girl <laughs> what a pussy little bitch oh normally i try to avoid gendered insults but i know that it's really going to offend the masculinity of phil so what a pussy little bitch you are phil what a thin-skinned pussy little bitch you think that a consumer be asking to be treated like all the other consumers in the same business. Consumers, they're not consumers, they're pet owners. They're there to make sure their pets are okay. This isn't necessarily a, a, like a thing where you should be considering other people as consumers. When I'm sat in the waiting room with the vets, there's like somebody else with a dog and another person with a cat in a carrier. I was thinking of them as consumers. They're pet owners. They're here for their pet's health. Can I get up? Are you okay? I just, I don't. Like, it, it's all about money. It's all about transactions. It's all about money and profit for him. You can't conceive of there are there are places where that isn't a consideration. It always has to be about profit. There's financial motives. There's, they, these people are consumers. They're consuming the service, the product, whatever you're providing. I'm not going to be like them. I'm going to be smarter. I'm going to be different. I'm not going to take that blood test. I see through your scam. <sighs> You can't consider that people go into a vet not necessarily thinking about money. You might be worried about it and how much it's going to cost. But ultimately, your priority isn't money. It's your pet's health. It's making sure your pet's okay. I don't think about the money when I'm in there. I think about making sure my cat's okay. So the fact that he sees it like that is incredibly telling. Of the sort of person he is. The sort of shit pet owner that he is. 
the irresponsible little shit of a human being that he is. And getting the money, you're getting what they pay for, getting a good experience, especially when there's competition in the area, you think that's entitlement. No, you're an asshole. You're a complete idiot. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Yeah, you coming up for the last bit? Come on, good girl. Are you gonna join us, or are you going to? Nope. Yeah, you coming up? All right. Well, you have to watch out now. There's a keyboard there, so yeah, good, good girl. Hmm? I still talk to her. I know she's deaf. She can't hear, like her her ears aren't moving now, um, but I still talk to her. I've spent the majority of fifteen years talking to her, so. You know, and she, she can still see me. I want her to still see that my lips are moving. I want her to understand that, you know, she is being acknowledged. She might not understand why she can't hear the, the, like the, the weird noises that usually come out of my mouth. But I wanted to see that it's still there. Daddy still sees her, you know? Yeah, good girl. I mean, it's a pretty dumb statement, don't you think? That's like, you so say you go into a restaurant, a table of four... You all order the same deal. Three of you get your food at the same time and it's all great quality. You have to wait an extra half hour to get your food and when the food comes out, it's all fucked up and then they want to charge you more for it. All right, number one, you're not all ordering the same food because you're not all there for the same reason. The person there with, like, the cat might be there for a checkup or they might be there because their cat's about to have an operation. The person there with the dog might be bringing their dog in because their dog has kidney stones and they need to operate on it. Or because their dog has a problem with its back legs and they need to make sure that they're okay after an assessment or some like physical treatment or injections or something. She had a problem with a back leg and a tail. They gave her injections and over the next few months saw her regularly to have a, like you know repeated injections and now she's fine. Not everybody has the same experience, right? So not everybody's dishes are going to be the same. Some dishes are going to be cooked quicker than others because there's multiple chefs working on each individual dish. It's not like you've got one chef serving the whole table. In this analogy, you've got four chefs, one for each person. And everybody's ordering something different. So some people get done quickly. Some people's meals come quicker than others. Because you're not all supposed to be there at the same time. And you're not going to be there for the same time and you're not all having the same thing so your analogy is breaking down already but let's carry on than everybody else but if you complain that's entitlement <laughs> it's like when you order food and then you get the option to have chips for one pound fifty extra that's 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 what you're being offered here except no this isn't about food this is about your fucking pet's health, Phil. You should not be putting something like that ahead of the important point of Jasper's health. Jasper's health should be a more immediate priority than cost. Again, see, I just, every time, I just, I just want to make sure she's okay. I just want to be reassured because it's frustrating to see this and know that like a, a cat is involved to know that a cat's health is at risk because he's an asshole and he's an idiot and he's too fucking stubborn and self-centered and narcissistic to see how he's wrong and put his cat's health first because he's never going to do that he's never going to empathize he's never going to understand that his cat is a being that has his own wants and needs and he has the responsibility of making sure that those needs are met especially when it comes to health wow <clears throat> you people on the internet are real smart when you say shit like that right oh bro come on you of all people you of all people, Phil. Uh, it's kind of hard to describe. I was reading in Sex Self Help section in Borders. <laughs> mm. I mean, Fuck as you do, borders. as you do. I was reading in the Sex 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 Self Help section in Borders. Uh, not like I need help or anything. <laughs> Thanks, Viscant. But I always try to improve on perfection. Anyways, Viscant is very funny. Uh, this book was talking about how someone can repeat. So I tried that. Loaded up with some of my friends' hot mom porn and went for a double header. My cock was like, what the fuck? My wrist is tired and I have a headache. Oh God. Fuck. Oh God. Hell. Oh God. Jesus our boy, Christ. our boy enters the chat. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Repeat. What does that mean? How do you, how? 
How do you not know how? what repeat means in this context? How? I, how? You have not had sex at this point, Phil. I don't think he's you even masturbated at this point. Possibly. Well, we know he's masturbating. They're caught doing it. But, like, how would you not? <laughs> <laughs> I think. The timeline might be weird on that, though. This is 2005. So... That's oh, true. I, I gotta check on that. He's been caught by this point. Yeah. Where's the thing I already showed? I, I'll get that link again. All right, twenty-three, twenty-three. Okay, two thousand three. Yeah. So we know he jacking off at this point. At this point. Yeah, yeah. But anyways, uh, what what does that mean? And Viscan has to say like, all right, uh, shoot twice. Dude. What the fuck? Yeah. How does that work? LOL. How I don't. The, I don't I, get dude, it. Dude. I don't get it. Like, how do you not get dude, it, dude? I, what are we how? not getting? What are we not getting? What are we not getting here? You of all people cannot diss other people for being smart or not. Oh, and by the way, one other thing I should say, you could get something called pet insurance. That also was pretty inexpensive. Thanks for including that. I had that saved and I was going to, to bring that up as well. Um, and for, you know, a little bit a month, basically what they do is they cost up to a certain level of medical cost, etc. And we have that for him. So, you know, a few, a few bucks a month, if something goes horribly wrong and we have to end up paying thousands of dollars in medical bills, the insurance will cover up to a certain amount. We'll cover the whole thing, of course not. But as long as you can prove that it was some kind of a weird circumstance that happened, the pet insurance will usually cover it. And that way you don't have insane amounts of cost out of nowhere that you can't afford. And I'll be very honest here as well. My parents are pet lovers. They're cat lovers. They have multiple cats. And, you know, talking with them... When we got Jasper, they said, yeah, more than likely if anything went horribly wrong, they would be able to help out a little bit. You know, don't worry about, oh, God, if something happens you now, you can't afford it or something like that. They would be able to, you know, at least do a little bit to help out. So, so there you go. I am now on the side of he doesn't have pet insurance. That's why he refused to pay. If he had pet insurance, it would have covered that easily. Like, like. Like you pointed out, it would have covered the cost of the blood work. It used to for me. This never used to cost this much because insurance used to cover it. But now they don't, so it costs more. That's why I think he doesn't have insurance. Because it's about the cost. He doesn't want to pay that per month. Because he isn't thinking that's going to ultimately pay off as a saving when later on I get vet bills for hundreds, if not thousands, depending on how bad things are. So all this money that I've paid over months accumulates and will cover that. You know, like how insurance works. The way you just explained insurance then was fucking amazing. It's basically like human insurance, but for pets. So, I am on legit negligent pet owner side, Aquatil. Thanks for um, uploading that and, and including that clip as well. You've saved me the effort. <sighs> mm -hmm. I think he was lying about the pet insurance. I don't think he has it. That's why this this is such a big deal now. It's easy to no, it's easy to lie about the pet insurance when your cat is fine, when you don't have to pay that much because you're not going to the vet that often. But when you take it for a checkup and you don't have health insurance, which you know health insurance will cover, you can get coverage for this stuff on pet insurance. So I don't think he does. So anyway, I'm going to cut here. I'm going to edit this now. Um, if there's anything more to go, uh, Editor Steve will edit it in. Um, I'm sure some future Steve will have stuff to say after I've gone and got all the clips and watched everybody else's reactions to it. Um, and, and I'm sure you know some stuff might come up on that being said. But either way, um, my ultimate conclusion from all this is he shouldn't have a pet. He is woefully ill-equipped for the responsibility of a pet and he just should not have one. He's negligent. He's not actively harmful or abusive. He's negligent. Although, some of the ways he's described having Jasper, especially the stuff like putting him in a box, locking him in a room, I don't think he's actively abusive. I just don't think... I just think he doesn't understand how that's bad. So, I don't think he's actively abusing the cat he's not like actively battering it or stabbing it or whatever but he is incredibly negligent doesn't understand what he's doing and doesn't understand the responsibility that he has to the point where he's kicking off about being asked to have a blood test done for his cat he's completely ill-equipped for having a pet and he shouldn't have one because he can't see it as a pet. He can't see it as a thing. He can't see it as a thing that his own wants and needs. This is sitting here now because the food bowl will be a bit empty downstairs and she wants me to fix, to fill it. 
won't it? Yeah. <laughs> So um I should I should probably go and edit this and feed her. I'll feed her first, don't worry. Um the editing will come later, but for now. Come on you, come. These checks can include anything from a revaccination to examining an animal with a possible injury, to running tests for underlying illnesses such as Panlupo parvo, or even just examining an animal for a possible upright. I know some people are like, why are we playing these? Because DSP is a bitch and a moron. Yeah, he doesn't. Like, he doesn't give a fuck about that cat. An hour and a half and four fifty is an average vet visit. Phil, my brother, pray pray for Jasper. Rest, uh, 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 pray for Jasper. Hashtag it. Uh, uh, justice for Jasper. We, we need to rally together and let. Uh, let's bring Jasper over here. I'll take care of Jasper. Bang, bang, bang. Uh, Jasper will have a good life with Irvine and Valen. Bang. Bang, we'll, bang, we'll, we'll, bang. we'll treat them good over here. Oh my God, that's enough, Phil, for today. Uh, I'm done. I'm done. But if you complain, that's entitlement. <laughs> wow. <laughs> if you're down the internet, real smart when you say shit like that, right? Yeah. Are you real smart when you spend 20 minutes crying about a vet visit that didn't even necessarily go wrong? It just didn't go the way you want it? I guess you're very smart about it, but... Who am I to say? He has a podcast. He can say anything he wants on his podcast because that's how life works. Oh, that's a very nice thumbnail, duty. With the with, with a Jasper with the X's for eyes. <laughs> that's a good one. Again, let's wrap it up. Final, you know, the, 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 let's 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 get the core thought going. Phil has pet insurance. His parents pay for pet insurance. He needs blood work done. There's no reason for him not to get that blood work done. He's a shitty ass fucking owner and he deserves to rot in hell. It's an embarrassment. He, he's using his same vet picture from the last visit on, and he's showing you on the phone versus showing, you know, putting the image up there. He, he already knows how to do it. It's the same image. You know, good old Shinko did this. So I, I feel like this is a bit scammy. A bit scammy and a bit scummy to do. I, I just don't, I don't like it when, when people try to pull out your little heart courts. And be like, oh, no, I'm just trying to take care of it. And doesn't do it. I mean, Phil is notorious for not taking care of his animals. His little, his little hamsters, I, th I think they went down that garbage disposal. Just just maybe, right? Just like every potato or zucchini that he can shove in there. And that's why it broke. But, you know, he, he's he's doing terrible just things. Like, he doesn't clean Jasper's litter box until he has to chase the cat around the house with a fresh one. Because his wife has finally got off the couch. Hit the hit the couch wench and, and pulled her fat ass up and scooped up some kitty litter. Finally, it's 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 rough. It's rough out there to be a cat, I guess, uh, especially a D clawed one. I mean, he, he's got to have like some some sensitive paws, so he's got to have like usually a special type of litter that'll help him out. You know, it, it's just like he he doesn't he doesn't care. He was he was just a, he was just something to to bandage up for his wife and to exploit on stream and to pull at the heartstrings of his little cult following to, you know, open the Velcro wallet a little more. Just, just, just a little bit, just, just a touch. Yeah, it's, it's rough. It's rough out there. Embarrassing. Really is, to be honest. Steve, final words, please. Uh, I am booking out a video of Jasper, but it, um, it, it just keeps getting longer because it started with the vets, and now I'm like, oh, I should do the like when Phil got Jasper and how Phil looks at cats, and oh, so I'm having a bit of a like existential panic attack. <laughs> about, should I just carry on going to make it bigger or just get it out now? <laughs> it's like otherwise, if I get it out now, people are gonna be like, oh, it's too short. It's too it's short. Like Three hours. hours. What? Yeah, <laughs> what? Well, but yeah, off, it'll be coming soon. Don't worry. It'll be. It'll All right. Be so soon, this so yeah, this yeah. stream's gonna. It, it will come out. It'll be legendary, dude. You do what you gotta do. We we we, we appreciate all steam. Even four hours, Steve. That's still fine. Oh. Four hours in heaven is better than zero hours in heaven. <laughs> That's what I tell Chew, but I change it to four minutes. But anyways. Lord help me. I have problems, and I I know I have problems. You know, didn't get to a point where four hour videos are not long enough without something going wrong somewhere up here um but i have to end this i have to i have to call 
like timing it at some point because otherwise I'm going to be here for months. It's going to take ages to come out. It's not going to feel relevant and, and, and it just feels more important now for reasons I'm going to get to shortly. But before I do, I just want to sort of shout out and give credit to everybody who have used clips of throughout this because um, I know I've been a bit heavy on clips. I'll get to that in a bit as well. Um, God knows how long, how long this ramble is going to last. Uh, but, yeah, <laughs> it's helped me get through this knowing that I'm not alone and I'm not the only one sort of like seeing these things and being outraged by these things. So, yeah, it's very reassuring. Um, first and foremost, obviously, Zach Quateel because it's her video that I used and, you know, big ups to her. She's one of the best uh, clippers and creators in the, uh, the detractor sphere. So thank you for that, Aquateel. Um Secondly, everybody whose clips that I used, I've got to go with sort of roughly vaguely remembered alphabetical order. I just, you know, because there's no favouritism here. We're all friends. Uh, so that's Agent Proper, uh, King Jad, King Slighty and Iviga. Uh, I know I did Mirka, I did Raven's Dolphin. There was, then there was, there was Shinko, there was Your Beliefs. There was, uh, that being said, and Gundam. So I also want to thank alt and fantastic mr sam and i also want to thank alt for that clip of uh, the dead sea scrolls so i think that's everybody um thanks everybody i know i didn't sort of like give you any like notice in advance that i'm stealing your stuff so it's probably come as a surprise to a lot of you but yeah you, you've helped me get through this and you've helped me make a point and that point is that you know phil's actions are outrageous the way he is with Jasper is something that should be called out. So, yeah, thanks. Thanks, everyone. I really do appreciate that you put all your content up there. And I was, you know, freely able to to, to steal it and use it. <laughs> so, cheers. We, we, we both appreciate it, don't we? Cheers here on my desk. And that's partly why I was calling an end to it, because... Uh, there, there was going to be a bit here where I talked a bit about Jasper and originally it was just going to be a you know this is like how Phil was at the start with Jasper and blah 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 it shows that you know throughout time nothing has changed and then it became a, oh there's obviously going to be a lot about like his first vet visit because he, he said you know the, the stuff about um, COVID COVID lockdowns there's there's a bunch there that you can go into and then there was obviously you know well why don't we actually take a look at um, the, the stream where Jasper was there and that then I thought, well, why don't you take a look at, you know, the, the, the reveal stream, the 2K reveal stream. Let's have a look at that. And then it went to, well, let's have a look at how um, you're going to get too much for you. <laughs> Became about, like, talking about how Phil was growing up with cats and other times that Jasper had been to the vets and the UTI stuff and all. It, so it's like getting out of control and, and, and it was going to end up becoming a, a thing. It was actually going to become a proper thing. So it would have been fine, but it would have also taken me ages and this 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 happened earlier on King Judge Street. Well I saw it on King Judge Stream. I was having a smoke and watching before I was going to record this and this happened on King Judge Stream and I've gone and got the raw DDM version. The difficulty level of learning the ins and outs of the game competitively there's a ton of factors involved in this, you see. So what are you doing back there? What are you doing behind me? What are you doing behind me, Jasper Kitty? What's going on back there? Hmm? What is it? What is it, Jasper Kitty? Jasper, say something. He meowed very low, very low. He said, meow, just like that. What are you doing behind me? Huh? Say something. He never talks in here. I swear to God, this cat is one of the most talkative cats outside of this room. He will meow all day long and it's the cutest thing. When he's in here, he won't meow. He refuses to talk to me. What are you doing? Don't mess with my LED lights, okay? Okay? He's messing with the LED. Don't, no, stop that right now, come on. Stop messing with the LED, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here, Jasper, come on. Don't mess with the LED lights. They're a part of my setup. You can't mess with them, alright? Leave them alone. Oh boy. Because now they're all messed up because he moved them. <laughs> Can you still. No, don't touch. The... Jasper, stop that right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing it to get attention. That's why he does it. He wants my attention. If I mess with, with Dad's setup. 
I'll get his attention, and he won't put, talk to the people on stream. He'll talk to me. Jesper, come on. Let's get out of here. Now he's going to see he wants to play with me. It's not time to play. I'm on the show. The stream is live. Oh, my God. This cat is something else. Jasper, do not mess with those lights. You'll upset me. I have to, now I have to fix the lights because now they're a little messed up. They still look all right, but they're a little messed up, so I'm going to have to mess with them when he's out of there. Anyway. Okay. So, um, so let's see. Also, I suggest you buy a full-length mirror and shadow box in between matches. I'm not doing that. That's incredibly stupid. But thank you very much. Jasper. Stop touching the lights. Jasper, stop that right now. That's it. <laughs> Jasper, leave the lights alone. Get out of there. Come on, get out of there. Get your kitty butt out of there. Get your kitty butt out of there. I'm messing with my lights here. Ugh. Hey. Stop that. Stop it. I'm going to get the... Oh, my God, Jasper. He's being a very fresh kitty today. Jasper, come on, get out of there. There we go, he got out of there. All right, leave that area alone. Don't do anything behind me. Okay, so... I have no idea who I'm meaning in MK1. If the game's not even out yet, how can I answer a question like that? What are you doing? Now you're laying down behind me. He's laying down flat behind me. <laughs> Being silly. Play the game off screen? What game? Final Fantasy 16? <laughs> he's a knight! He's, he's doing something? I hear a noise. I turn around. He looks up. Like that. It's like, what is it, Dad? What is it? What are you looking at me for? So I turn away. I hear a noise. I turn back. He goes, What is it? <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Are you going to stay back here? If you behave, I don't mind if you stay back here, but you have to behave. Don't chew the wires, okay? He's, a, he's crazy. I did not take all that stuff with me. Um, Jasper, don't do it. I warned you. Leave those alone. I keep watching them. Does Jasper sing? Well, here's the funny part. All right? Let's say, for example, it's night, and I'm getting ready for bed. So I'll be sitting there brushing my teeth. And Jasper will walk into the bathroom. And I can't say Jasper, so I'll say, mm-hmm. So it sounds like Jasper. Like, right? Jasper. It's like, mm-hmm. And he'll go, meow. So I'll go, and he'll go meow, and I go oh okay, meow. So he's a musical kitty. He doesn't sing, but he reacts to music. So there you go. Someone wrote me a long form email, and here, in, in a nutshell, here's what they said. He's now needing this. Look, he's needing my t-shirts. In a nutshell, here's what they said. They said, you are at your best when you play games you're really enjoying. And we can tell when you're really significantly enjoying a game. We know it. So what we recommend is play, play games. Yeah, I, mean, I would say, Jasper, please tell me you're not attacking that wire. Jasper, stop that right now. Stop it. Don't attack the wire. Let's go. I turned my back on him, and he's attacking the LED. Okay. So, um... And, obviously, I, in King Jad's chat, I was losing my shit. Um, and this is partly because... Um, earlier today, once again, I had to go back to the vets for more blood tests. That was another £239.02. I don't know if you can see that there clearly, but, you know, once again... We have a bunch of shit needing doing. It works out to about $300. This is about $305. So, yeah, for 
um, what is listed as complete hematology, i.e. blood tests, for $300. So, yeah, it was personally getting to me again. And um, that was a moment where I thought, just, just, just stop it and get it out, you know. Maybe at another point you could do the whole Jasper thing where you, you look at everything. You know, you look at how Phil was before he got a cat and how it was growing up with cats. And you look at them like, did Phil ever want a cat or not? And, you know, you, you go through all that and you'd probably be in a better headspace for it. But for me, part of the last few, last few days, really, although there, there was a period before where I got a bunch of clips, but the last few days especially have been a case of search clips for a while and then you'd just get fed up. And you'd want to stop, and 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 you'd have to, I'd have to like force myself to go back to looking for clips. And Pig Pig Go was like con continuously open tab in my browser, um, because it, it just comes back to he doesn't know anything all the time. Everything it always comes back to he doesn't know anything about cats, like. He's there's 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 one clip where he's he's shocked that that litter some litter boxes don't have lids. Crimson Tide says the other day his cat missed his friend's cat missed the litter box half went in and half missed the box. How is that possible? Litter boxes, um, are enclosed. No, I've never seen an open cat litter box. That would kind of be counterproductive because the scent would just go everywhere. Don't litter boxes have lids? So the cat technically has to go inside to use it. So how could it go half in, half out? I'm a little confused. Like, like they're litter trays, you know? They, they, whether, you know, you have a box or a tray depends on a number of factors, including how the cat was litter trained in the first place. But, like, the idea that you don't know that topless, <laughs> lidless trays can be used... That, because mine uses a litter tray, so the idea of, I mean, you know, I know that you can get a box in it, but she uses the tray. So, like, and, and, and when he talks about, like, completely normal cat things, as if Jasper is, like, the exception to them, you know, like, I don't just mean the being in the, in the carrier stuff that mentioned earlier. There's, there's a clip from the 2K reveal stream where he's like, yeah, Jasper likes to play for about 15 minutes or so, and then he gets bored and wanders off. We can't buy him a new toy every week. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Buy a new thing every week. No, he has to get used to having certain things and playing with them. And even when we play with him, some things he likes and some things he'll... Like, we have this... Uh, <clears throat> it looks like a fishing pole. <clears throat> okay? It looks like a fishing pole. He loves it. And he'll play with it for like five minutes. And then after five minutes, he gets bored with it and walks away. So that's what I mean. Like, there's toys all over the house that he could play with. He just wants to do whatever he wants to do. Whether he wants to drink water out of our bamboo, bamboo plants and knock the stones around the house. He wants to eat my antenna wire on my clock. That's how he is. <clears throat> and yes, I am well aware that cats will play with a candy wrapper or with a box. And he does for about five minutes. Every time we have an empty box, we leave it there for him to play with. And he will for a little bit. And then he's done with it. <laughs> That's how he is. And it's like, all cats do. That's that's like how they work. They're social, but they're also independent. So you can train the training. The training. He doesn't know that you can train them. Mr. Swaggins did a 45 bit cheer. He says, Phil, in the near future, will you be getting a kitten? You and your girlfriend can raise it to do tricks for bits and tips. First of all, you can't train a cat. <laughs> I don't know who told you that. You can't train a cat to do tricks. Conan the Barbarian says that cats are easier to take care of than dogs, and dogs would be a pain in the ass. True, but. Some cats could end up being very territorial. They could end up being very, uh, almost even antisocial. I've seen cats that just think they own the house, right? But there's other nice cats, too. So, I mean, it's, it's kind of like a look of the draw, I guess, what you end up getting. Most dogs can be trained. Cats? Pfft. What do you think, like, getting them used to the litter tray is? You, that's training them. You know, so he doesn't know that you can train them because he's never had, like, an interest in cats to the point where he's wanted to learn that. So he doesn't realize, like, they learn differently from dogs. Like, they don't have, like, the same emotional intelligence as dogs. Dogs will pick up on, like, how humans are feeling in the room faster than cats will. But they could still, like, learn, 
you know, they could still recall things. They could, they're still subject to, like, you know, operant conditioning and um, classical conditioning. They're animals. You could teach them, you know. I, I have a friend who taught their cat to uh, play fetch. And they'd throw, like, a, a cotton bud. Uh, not a cotton bud. You know, the, the stick thing. You call them Q-tips in America? I call them, we call them cotton buds. Um, they'd throw them across the room. And the cat would pick them up and bring them back. <laughs> so you can treat... You can train cats, you know. But... He's never wanted to learn about cats to the point where he would know that because he's never really cared about cats. And it, he's only really got Jasper because it benefits him in that he has a thing that he could potentially exploit on stream, whether it's, you know, financially or in terms of like, you know, oh, Jasper did this thing on stream. Let's make a shot out of it. You know, there's, there's like ways of exploiting the animal on stream that he's used. And, and so it's like it, it, it's reflective of the idea that that that. that Jasper is not a pet to him. He's just a thing. He's just a role being filled, like cat. You know, he, he, Jasper is a thing that I can bring on stream to boost engagement. People might get chatting more, then someone might be happy and send me a couple of quid. You know, it's it's a thing, and 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 you can tell that because he's constantly begging for attention. This cat is starved of attention, and. He's just there going, Jasper Kitty, Jasper Kitty, Jasper, no, don't do that. Jasper, stop chewing the wires. Jasper, stop chasing that thing. Jasper, get down from there. You know, Jasper, I know. And then he looks at the camera and goes, see, I know why he's doing it. He wants attention. It's like, fucking yeah. Yeah, he does, because he's obviously starved of it elsewhere. So it's just, it, it's stressful, and it's it's like upsetting as a pet owner, and it. It, it gets to you after a while and so i'm gonna have to like end this video and like maybe at some point in the future i can come back to a jasper video like like, like it occurred to me recently that i i technically have the clout <laughs> to be able to like get a couple of people to contribute some bits and put together a video of like a, like a jasper compendium myself you know a jasper an analysis or something like that you know <laughs> So, you know, maybe that's a thing that I'll do one day. But, like, for now, I need to I need to end this and just get it out. It feels like like today is the day. Um, just because of, like, how he was acting up before. He was, like, pouring at his fucking shirts. And, and feels like... <sighs> Fuck's sake, Phil. Just, like, fucking play with your cat outside of the stream. 15, 20 minutes that's that's all it takes you know and your cat will then wander off happy and content and go and entertain itself like then they're not the most attention demanding of pets but they still want attention sometimes you still have to like give them affection so yeah it's depressing it's depressing and it's infuriating and ultimately he, he just shouldn't have a pet he shouldn't have a pet. And there's, there's a fucking clip where he has the gall to sort of like insinuate that we're sick in the head here because we're going like, oh, that cat's going to die. So instead, we'll get to shout outs. Okay. We first of all, we're going to start off with a super chat from Dick Burns, <laughs> who did a super chat and said, love Jasper. Yes, I also love Jasper. I'm, you know, I will say this, even though some people definitely take it too far and or they think that it's funny to revel in anything that makes me feel bad, which is really messed up that you would revel in my, my pet not feeling well because you're a scumbag. Um, I really do appreciate those of you who have been very, very nice and caring and caring about Jasper. You know, a lot of people I understand. You're like, man, I really wish that, you know, he wasn't feeling bad. And I wish that the vet service in America was different than it is where you could just kind of walk into any vet you want and, and get an appointment and not have to pay $1,000 for an emergency visit. I know. I hear you. I wish it was like that. It's basically, pet services here are almost equivalent to American healthcare for humans, meaning you can get healthcare immediately and you'll pay thousands of dollars, like no exaggeration. If I were to take him to the, emer the pet emergency room, they would probably charge me $1,000 for a routine urinary tract infection that is going to be treated with a, a, a drug that costs like $15. You know, <laughs> that's how it is here in America. They're, it's a complete and utter ripoff. Um... <clears throat> So, uh, you know, 
I, I, it's, it, I don't like having to wait, but it is what it is. And I'm very happy to see that Jasper is much better today. My God, he's laying right next to me relaxing. Yesterday, he was the opposite. He was feeling terrible all day. So this is really good. This is really good that it seems like he's improved overnight dramatically. So, excellent. Um, <laughs> excellent. But thank you to those who genuinely care about Jasper. I mean that. Like, I can tell the difference between someone who's coming on stream chat and they're like, oh, how's Jasper? Is he doing okay? You know, I want to hear about him versus some scumbag shithead who's out there saying disgusting things. Phil's going to kill his cat and stuff like that. Like, how messed... I just want to say something. How messed up in the head can you be to think that that is acceptable behavior? Seriously. Someone who loves their pet, like a family member, right? Doing, doing my best to take care of him because I love him to death, right? Oh, let's make up disgusting memes that Jasper's going to die. Me? No, that's not, a dis that's not a meme. That's you. You're fucked up in your head. Because you think that kind of shit is funny. It's not funny. It's disgusting. You're disgusting. You're a horrible human. Really. You should go seek fucking help if you think that kind of shit is funny. It's not. Okay? But thank you to those who genuinely care about Jasper. I really appreciate that. I do. That's really nice of you. Like, oh, God, he's so fucking frustrating. So, yeah, yeah. See, even even like just thinking about it now is is winding me up. So, yeah, I post an update. I'm probably going away from the vets like either tomorrow or Thursday, and I'll, I'll like post an update or pin a comment or something. Um, because that this this is this is about a white blood cell, and yeah. Um. So yeah, I suppose like to end on like a positive note, I'd probably like put a clip of the cat in here, because you know. It's, 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 but I'll, I'll find a random clip and just put it in. Why not? You know, I don't know what I really think it is. It's the 60 frames. He never did this before PS5. You know what I think? It, I'm honest. I think it's the PlayStation 5. It's the 60 frames because he used to always be in here. He never jumped in front of the TV. Only since I got the PS5 does he jump in front of the TV now. So I think with more 60, with more frames of animation, okay, he's seeing the, the extra animation and it catches his eye. I think so. It was actually funny because what was it? the other day there was snow and the snow attracted him. So that's what I think it is. Like maybe the 30 frame stuff didn't look realistic to him because, you know, he's never seen different frame rates. He's not playing video games and watching movies. Anyway, I don't know. That's, what, that's just my theory. 